Hello. Hello. What if we held hands as a treat? Okay, that's it. I'm going to spit in your mouth. Hello. 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 Slowly but surely, I am getting everything that is like, you know, Promotion wise out there. Hopefully I did unmute. Yep, looks like I did unmute myself. Thank goodness. It would have been very embarrassing if after two plus years of doing this nonsense, I would have failed to do the, um, the thingy, the what's in the whoosies, the, um, uh, b -b words fail me. Well, if words are going to fail me, I might as well move into this, this room here. That way you guys can see the new decorations. My, ze my, my plushy zebra is now on like a fun little um, chair that now I made that in this week's we stream. A skill issue. And I recovered from the from the render thingy madiggy issue issue. And I was able to put the sword back there. I had to adjust the um, the sizing a little bit, but it works. Slowly but surely, more of this room is becoming, you know, stuff that I have made rather than it being like a whole ton of stuff that I found like kit bashed together. Like maybe one of the, maybe I need to make a to do list of things that it's like, all right, what is something I have not made in this room? And it's like uh, the desk, the phone, the phone, sorry, um, those weights, the cronk, the Bulbasaur, the Rubik's Cube, uh, the television and the lights. You got a pitchfork and you. And I still kicked your ass as I should. And also look at it. Look at all. Look at all these little buddies like running around being an absolute fucking fucking shitters. All of them thinking they are somehow top top zebes in this, you know, in this world of um, of um, himbos and um, whatever whoosies. I was about to say, oh, himbos and bimbos would have been good because then that way that's like those two. And then you got thembos as well as an opportunity. I'm talking all kinds of nonsense because I have not yet finished doing the important. Hey, I am online. You should come see me online.
donk. And then ding dong, bam, there we go. Um, getting distracted by a lot of booby. Um, Alrighty, code installed me just insta killed you. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh so harshly. Where is code? Where is he? Hang on. Ding. There he is. Bomb. I'm not hearing a thing. Why is that? Hello, I am here. Hello, hi. Oh goodness! I better change my uh, I better change my uh, sticker because uh... that's a yeah that's your profile icon which is like I've not said anything considering like a we've moved over to being a stream that uh like a like a Discord that's like eighteen plus but you have realized even before then you just being absolutely fucking butt naked and um uh what's Mahuzi um just showing off like like giant ass hoop nipples. Hey, everyone loves the hoopy nipples. Look, I, I, re I respect out of all the different like nipple piercings, like the hoops are pretty good. But as Furry Cures is, is questioning, why are you naked? Especially when you had like the opportunity of like, you can now do server profiles. I didn't even know you were going to be using. I thought you were going to be using the, uh, the uh, normal thing. There is no normal thing. It was just whatever your thingy was. And don't forget, you've also changed your name. I know. Now I'm a big belly. There we go. See? That's cool. Wait, are you I, a big belly you... everywhere, or are you just a big belly in this server? Uh, well, everywhere now, apparently. Ah, uh, okay. Because I, I am curious what Fugi... Also, hang on a second. I Rather than using the, um... Because I thought you were going to be using the reactive images. Yeah, this is the react... Uh, Fugi reactive. This is the group mode, where... And then here is code... If it will turn on. Oh, no, this is the old code. Hang on a second. I got to I got to fix. On, what, do you mean, what do you mean? Oh, old one. So because it's the Fugi react. <laughs> oh, All now right. I'm just a giant belly. My God, that's like 90 percent your body. <laughs> it's just belly. <laughs> Let me. All right. Fine. Let me. Let, I guess I have to fix your shit. Hang on. Hang on. Let me just let me just. Let me. Yeah, I'm gonna build up, put in the. Let me. Um. All right. So there's your inactive, and then. Oh wait, no. Hang on. That's the wrong way around. Um. That's your inactive, and this is your active. Save. Save. All right. Now it should. Um. There we go. That is. Uh, should there we go? Hang on. Just wait. Yeah. Bone See master the load. Ah, there we go. Told me to say, ah, much better. Always a giant yeah. belly. Because like um, when you're on the um Fugi reactive side, they've they've kind of been updating a few things. So like the first thing is like I can set up like on the individual sources versus like for, or I can set up on on my side the settings for um you being like whatever image or such, or it can be whatever your image is. I want to say for the server, I don't know if it's going to use like because you can have now like a server profile with a different icon or you can have a, um, you know. Or if it was but just going to use the entire discord thing in Madugis. So yeah, I was really curious how Fugi Reactive was going to work with that, whether it was going to go for whatever you set customized wise in my server server because you're like speaking in my thing in Madugi, or if it was just going to go by like your entire discord thing. But then there's also the case of, you know, if you go to uh, Reactive Fugi Yugi's site that I just linked to you, you can set up your own, like, Reactive. So if I don't set anything Bookie for it, then it uses what you've I set up for you yourself. Yeah, because um, I've just noticed, too, you, that I can't yeah. do the server profile on uh, mine because I don't have Nitro yet. Oh, okay, so it's still a, okay, so it's still behind Nitro. I thought it was available for everyone, and I've missed yeah. out on... So many things. Did I change the squats? Yes, that's one of the things I need to discuss about because I have because a few things have changed about this um, stream. One is I've turned back on I'm pixelated. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hi there, Wizard King. 
All right, wait, who who else is here? We got Bone. We got Bookie, who's wishing you a Bookie love and a Bookie cookie. Cookie for Bookie. Bookie cookies. Bookie cookies. Bookie cookies. Um, who else we got? We got Furry Cures. They were there first. We got U Code. Um, Angrel is here. And Gage. There's Gage is there. So, yeah, so. I have adjusted how squats are going to work Boobies. because I've brought back um, the advertisement schedule. So basically every half hour, there's going to be a minute and a half advertisement. The reason for this is one, I get paid for this, Hello. even if you're on Twitch Turbo. And two, it makes it so that anytime anyone comes into the stream, it there's no pre-roll ad to get in. There's a mid-roll ad which everyone has to go through unless you're subscribed to me or to um, Twitch dot uh, Twitch Turbo, which hang on a second. I'm, they don't really advertise this very strongly, but like you can Twitch Turbo is like such a awesome effing effing like service. Like if you don't want to pay for like 30, if you don't want to pay for like 30 subscriptions or something or rather, and you're not too fussed about emotes. Get Twitch Turbo. It's like 18 bucks a month, which is basically three, um, like three subs, like three subs or something like that. And it's ad, it's ad free viewing to anyone. Like it's not limited to where you did the purchase. It's like anyone on Twitch, which I think is a essential if you're going to want to like jump into all these different other kinds of streams. Are you streaming tonight? No, 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 I'm not streaming. Uh, I'll probably be streaming next week. Might not be doing it straight away with a new model. Mm -hmm. um, it'll probably still be with the standard one, uh, with the PNG tuber for a little bit. So I'll probably be limiting all the stuff I'll be doing, f uh, like, redeem-wise. Uh, but I do want to get back into it, so I am going to do it next week, no matter what. Yeah, no, fair enough, fair enough. So, yeah. so basically, what we're seeing here. So, yeah, but um, where was I in my train of thought? Ah, yes! Um... When the advertisement goes off, that's going on for a minute and a half. Get up, stretch, whatever's. While that's happening on my side, I won't continue on with, like, with the game. I'll use that as an opportunity to actually um, do some squats and stretch and take, a, and take a drink like I should. And so that's why the squat redeem has changed. It's cheaper, but it, like, so you can, so, and it, I think it's like every, when's the next um, redeem? In, in like a little over two minutes, it's going to be available again for someone to press. And the idea is, is that the next time an advertisement goes off, the bot's going to tell me, oh, hey, you're going to now need to do this many squats. The purpose for this one is that, you know, it, the squats don't interrupt the gameplay or the chatting or anything like that. It interrupts it during an advertisement, which I think is like a better, which I feel like is a better time to do squats because either subscribers are having to watch me do my squats and the you know model wigging out or non-subscribers are dealing with an advertisement and they're just seeing in the bottom right corner no one playing the game and the zebra just wigging out so and the and the benefit with this one for viewers is i might have to end up doing more than 20 squats in one sitting Oh, no. Oh, no. It's okay. I did like a quick test of like, okay, like in a minute and a half, how many squats can I do? I, I can do like, I can do like 30, 40, maybe 50. Like I can do a fairly decent number cookie for Jason. I can do a fairly decent number of squats in like a single sitting. Like, cause don't forget, like I used to have to do, I think like 150, like before the stream was over or something like that. And that was normally like, you know, however many like 15 to 20 squats during like you know every fi five ten minutes or something like that so in this case it's going to be you know however many times the squat redeem is done in the advertisement so it's like once in every half hour which means an advertisement could come up where i don't have to do any squats because no one is paying attention to the redeems so what do you think seems like a reasonable thing to do yeah so keeps me fit and it stops the um, the stream of gameplay and such like that getting interrupted with squats. It instead gets interrupted with advertisement, and that's when I do the squats. So it's like two birds with one stone. It's stopping me from doing content while an advertisement is going off, so no more peeps can't see it, and you know gives an incentive where, as a subscriber, you can see me doing things. 
So yeah, and there and there's Jason doing the um plus ten squat redeem at the ad break. I've made it for now. It's under a hundred points. I made it ninety nine just to get everyone a feel for it, so it doesn't feel like as much of a of a channel point hit. But it's probably going to go up to a flat one hundred points after this. Yeah, flat. Flat. Back your butt. <gasps> you wouldn't. I would, and I went there. I have such an ass. Look at this. You're staring at it right now. You mean you are <laughs> such an ass? Ha ha ha. I would, uh -huh. I would buduntis you, but the, I would buduntis you, but like the button is not working for me right now, and I need to figure that out shortly. But I also need to get through some other things like getting the game started and making sure the um the what's a oh, works the dog has added quote number yeah. 420 we also need to make sure that we Look turn it, off such new to it yes so oh is it like you know really is it like really heavily copywritten music or no, no, nude. Oh, nude. Hello. Yes, that is right. There is there is the potential to see a penis in a vulva. <laughs> a penis and a vuvuzela. Code's finger was pointing between your butt cheeks. You screenshotted it. That brings me up to my next point. Code, you might like that. You might have already been aware of this as well, because I've seen your um, I've seen your um Twitch channel. By the by, shout out to Code again because I did it last time yeah. during an advertisement. But uh, Twitch has introduced a a feature called <laughs> feature a feature called feature clips. Oh yeah, I was looking at that yesterday. Hmm. Yeah. So Ooh. you do. <laughs> the machine gun. I do love subbies. What was that? Uh, what was it's that? it's a clip and it's you going, ooh, machine gun. I do love my subbies. <laughs> yeah, uh, you you, you love your you love your sub emotes. You love you love your subscribe your subscribers. Yes, yes, that, that, that's, that's exactly what I meant. Yes, that's exactly what you meant. I keep in my basement. Yes. Let Wait, did I quote of that, please? Oh, you, I was wondering what was happening to the. All right. Um, is this thing working yet? No. Button, please do your do the funny sounds. But yeah, because of the in, so there's now a thing called feature clips and I I looked back at some of my clips and I was and I realized I didn't have a lot of I didn't have like a lot of more recent clips. A lot of a lot of the ones that a lot of people liked were like from a year or two ago. Ooh. Oh, boy. <laughs> I just, I, I have not properly <laughs> fixed up. Oh yeah, I'm on, I'm on top of Grant. I'm sitting on Grant. Yeah, you're sitting, you're sitting on me. I gotta fix that. One moment, please. Uh, Discord Fugi, uh, turn. Actually, no, I'll. So, cause Puffin's been here. Blue was there. Z was there. You're really small there, though. All right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna move you like. Here ish. All right, maybe uh, also remove the yeah uh, shortly intro fighters in a second. Yeah, in, in in a second. It's just I don't know. I just wanted to be in this section for a real quick moment because I it actually has the thing in diggy of this adventure contains mature and sensitive subject matter. You can moderate some of this content by toggling, and it's like show nudity. No. It's show that PP. <laughs> Bailiff. Whack his pee pee. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Where's. Is the Stream Deck updated yet? No, it hasn't. Why hasn't it? Because it doesn't love you. Uh, I should also turn off show genitalia. Yep. Although Just it says show cinematic nudity. Oh, what? Enable to show sexual content during cinematic. Sexual content visible it, uh, does not affect the adventure or access to romance options. <laughs> All right, I uh, wonder how many people are actually running around with the. I'm actually gonna have a look at. Uh, I reckon there's a lot. Let's see. Who, let's see which other streamers who are playing. All right, so. so it's hard to tell who's playing with nudity on. I reckon a lot of people would not be playing with the nudity on. No. 
Alrighty, I gotta move you over here. And can I transform? Flip horizontally. There we go. <laughs> Autobots, transform and roll out. All right, there we go. So now, like, when I click on the guest button, it will zoom in on you. And then if I, cl if I click on me, it zooms in on me. And then I have, like, a slow zoom, a real, a real dramatic slow zoom. So then that way you get to really see this face and all of its, like, you know, really blocky emotions. Dun, 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Oh, I just realized something. Yeah. The. All right. Hello. Hang on. The um. Filters. The the camera, for. Wait. Okay. So it's guest zoom. There we go. And then there was like a just a tiny bit of it that was. There was a tiny bit of it that wasn't um like properly moving all the way to the bottom like there would just be a little gap underneath i fixed it so any uh -huh. all right so where was i in my in my um train of thought um oh yeah so featured clips is now a thing and i reckon i'll need your help with this code we'll need to figure out how do I, how do i how do i reach into the reach out to these kids how do i reach out to my viewers and getting more or um, clips. That's what I'd like to know. Yeah, that's yeah. We're, we're gonna need it. We're gonna need to brainstorm this. Between us is two brain cells. We'll need to figure something out. Uh, I'd say one and a half, but sure, sure, we'll go with that. Sure, yeah. We'll, we'll round it up. No, uh, you, 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 get, you get a plus one because of the four eyes. Hey, am I wrong? You have glasses. That doesn't that. mean that doesn't mean I'm a yo. Yeah, it doesn't mean I'm intelligent. Every every game that has glasses will always give you like a plus one to intelligence. I've played Fallout games. I know how the how the stat yeah, line it works. Also gives you a, it also gives you a minus one to charisma for some people. And it's like, don't they know sexy librarians? They always get that plus one to their charisma check. Look, no, 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 no. Okay, code. You're not a sexy librarian, though. Okay, like let's just point that out right, right there. Am, and there isn't, I, I, there isn't a neg one to the glasses normally. I could be a sexy librarian if I tried. Mm, yes, and I, I would be so proud of you if you could become a sexy librarian. Oh yeah, we might want to also activate the uh, the Twitch functionality too for this. Ooh, that is true. Oh my god, this is a very different sort of um. Like, because you and I, we played a little bit of the early access to get an understanding of, yeah. um, also... Yeah, a quick bit of the first chapter. Yeah, also, Intro Fighters is going to be deactivated, so you can't see it, but I'll probably turn it on during advertisement or something like that when I do my squats. But before, I didn't have this, but now it's like you have, um, the Temple of Ball or whatever the fuck his name is. The, um... Oh, yeah. So, yeah. All right, but yeah, you were right. Online visibility, friends only. That is correct. Um, maximum yep. number of auto saves. Oh, they've increased this number. Yeah. I'm gonna go with like 20. I'm gonna go with like 50 auto saves. You know. Ooh. Can never have enough auto saves. Do Especially I in a game, game like this. Do I want to show cinematic nudity? <laughs> Probably. I'd also maybe do share private moments as well. Ooh, okay. By default, Bo certain scenes dog are private. Has added number 428. You get plus one because the four eyes. Yeah. Um, whether or not characters are highlighted with an outline or circle outside of combat. Nah. Whether or not are highlighted with an outline during combat. Yes. Oh, wait, no, it already has a circle. Um, tactical view, metric system. Yeah. Like, as much as I love being an American, the Imperial system is dumb. Ah, we've converted one. It's, it's it's a fucking SI unit. NASA uses uses the metric system. It's not that crazy. Yeah, but it's not rocket science either. Enable Twitch integration. It allows viewers to see your party view, track your quests, and vote on dialogue options. Okay, is that what it looks like on my channel? 
I think make sure there's no app thing we've got to pop into the into the thing up. Well, I thought I did. I thought I added that thing in. So. Oh, you've added it in. Or uh, maybe uh, it's not enabled as the thing. Yeah, try and enable it, and then everyone maybe give an F5 quickly just once we do. Yep. Um. Street? No, it's extensions. There we go. Yeah. That bat was silent. Oh, here it is. Um, pick up where you left off. Baldur's Gate 3. The Baldur's Gate lets viewer... Yep, cool. So, get this add-on. Welcome to the Baldur's Gate 3 Twitch integration. Uh, activate. Uh, is now on extension overlay 1. This extension... Oh, there it is. Uh, it's popped up here. I'm looking at it on the Twitch. Ooh. It says, Welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 Twitch extension. Using this extension, you'll be able to interact with a stream of party members quest progress, and vote on dialogue options. I think you guys can click on see how it works. Uh, there's a button that will appear when you hover over the, uh, the stream. By clicking them, you'll be able to inspect the party or open the journal. Uh, okay. While inspecting the party, you'll be able to look at the party member's stats, equipment, inventory, spell books, and skills. Uh, thanks to the journal, you'll be able to keep up with the playthrough without leaving or without having to ask what's going on. Just browse through the journal instead. Nice! Throughout the playthrough, Twitch viewers will be able to vote on dialogue options to influence the story. Either help the streamer or uh, make the right choice, or get them in trouble. It's all up to you and the other viewers. We do hope you guys will be nice to us. Alrighty. Hopefully so. <laughs> Do we want God Rays? Yes. If there's anything in here about motion blur, it's normally a good idea to tr to oh, switch yeah, that yeah, nonsense just... off. Okay, there's no anti-alias. Um, all right, audio. I think this holds a little bit. This holds some of my earlier adjustments where the sound effects were purposely at like 40%, 60 for the user interface. Ambience. Yeah, I, Let's I put normally that put down. the music down to about 30. Yeah. Just because... I like music, mm -hmm. but I like it as background music, not, you know. It's it's not like, you know, in the foreground, like jazz. Mm. I mean, in games like Bayonetta, Devil May Cry, you have that music rocking. Mm. But in games like this, you want it as ambient music. Yeah, dynamic range, high. Oh, um, I, I went on like the search, uh, the, the Reddit um, boards and such like that, because apparently Dying Light 2, it sounded really weird, like as if I was in a sub, like the game sounded like it was in a submarine, but I sounded okay. Apparently that was because of some weird like sound enhancements that Windows tries to do. Uh... So I've had to turn off um, the audio enhancements. So hopefully, hopefully it doesn't sound so bad on, um, for you guys right now because it shouldn't be it shouldn't sound terrible center yeah, the cinematic hopefully. audio enable to play at equal volume through each speaker or headphone piece yes i think i'll do it like that um point and click frequency interface no i like the <laughs> it's just a little badger just sitting on the on the grass funny. i know it's adorable shows ping of other players ah, that's not necessary um, showing the subtitles, the speaker. What if we held hands as a trick? So I was fiddling last night. When the update came up, I quickly fiddled with it and had a look at the, uh, at the, um, character creation. Because one thing I was really worried about was the fact that I like to play Dragonborn. Mm. But I like to be a flame dragon, but I don't want the red scales. Yep. So I was fiddling with it last night, and it turns out you can actually give whatever color scales you want, and it doesn't matter what your uh, uh, dragon ancestry is. So I could be red dragon with all blue scales. I was like, fucking yes, this game! They nice. paid attention to my wants! Excellent. All right. Um, yep, firewall update. Oh my god, so many people are just leaving their, their like, lobby open. But Gustav Dev... <laughs> Is it the goose stuff? All right. My day be no so idea. fine. Then boom. Morning. My day do be so fine. Hi there, Hi um, there. ghoul Ooh. jester. <laughs> oh, that's a cool profile icon on um, Bone. Looks like you're wearing a lab coat. All that's right. a pretty big be option. <laughs> All right. Uh, balanced. Uh, th there's only two of us for this. Yeah, so yeah. Friends only. 
And then I can invite a friend. They can't see my list, so I can invite you. Alright. Uh, do not accept the invite. Oh, wait, crap. I accepted it. <laughs> oh, no. You have to play with a himbo zebra. No. I can't. Oh, no. Oh. Well, I'm ready, Trudy. Mm. Yep. But yeah, that's 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 you. That's code. Alrighty. It's me. It's me. So, uh, Actually, we didn't watch this part when we uh, started up. No, we didn't. We skipped this, but I think it's from the trailer. But I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna watch this just in case anyone hasn't seen it. So we can we yep. can be like those like low level um, YouTubers who don't react Did enough to the that? react channels. Oh, he's barefoot? Yeah, they're barefoot. I thought I thought they had shoes. They have a cloak. They have like like bracelets and things. Why wouldn't they have shoes? Because fuck your shoes. Uh, fuck the floor. Do you know what? Like people just shat on the floor back in the day. You know what would be the ultimate way to deal with Trudicures them then? Fucking Lego 221 bricks. paid me to say, did you see it? That's what that's why My Caltrops are a vat. Or a valuable thing. It's like, oh, 1d4. <laughs> it's just, yep. Uh, I always, I, I, like, when I saw the trailer for this, I eye twitched. Oh, uh, do you, scene. do you not like it when, um, people decide to, like, play with, play with your eye or something like that? No. Also, what's with the invisible bat? You are right. There's an invisible bat. Props. Uh, eye twitchy. Oh, oh. okay. There goes the guy. Oh, okay. I've watered my see eyes. Oh. See what I mean? And now oh, it's not... the first person perspective. Oh, is it gonna... Oh, am I gonna, like, actually, like, see some weird thing in Madugi, or is it just gonna fade to black? I don't know. Oh, oh, that's DT. Oh, ah, no, it's got teeth! Oh, oh that's disgusting. Oh, it, got, it had teeth! Uh, All right, uh, reload the you? So there actually is now, you can actually choose from the origin ca uh, characters as well now. Oh, ah, okay. <gasps> and there's the new one called The Dark Urge. I think I know where my, um... Hang on a second. I realized why the bat might be invisible. It's because... Oh. Yeah, it's because it's, um... It's pointing to something that I've since deleted, I'm fairly sure. Mm. They also changed up the um, the overall um, character creation, too. Okay, okay, I can get behind that. Alright, I need to restore this. Uh, node graph. Um, oh, this is going to be a bonk in health system. Because uh, I believe... Where it okay? So all the bonk, so all the sounds are in the right place. Uh, timer. Where in the world is? Oh my god, this node graph is absolutely insane in terms of like. Where's the thingy? Where is? Where is is my um? How does it load in a thingy? All right, I'll. I'll deal with that, like, another time then. Uh, reload the items. I'll just restore it into, like, the normal, like, downloads folder and then move on from there. All right, um, close this. Uh, enable tutorials. Yes, please. All righty. So we got, like, all kinds of different origin. The Dark Urge. <laughs> yeah, so apparently, you know, he's, um, uh, essentially, so he's a sorcerer. Um, but he's got some really sort of... He's got something that lives in his head that's trying to, um... Get him to kill. Okay. I would have understood. You can actually play the video and it tells you a little bit about their backstory. Oh! Well... I want to do... I want to do a custom character. Of course. I feel like in this game, custom characters are the better option. Yeah. Alrighty then. So... Oh, you can... Oh, it's just like for the different body type. Okay. Um, edit care. Oh, here. Uh, origin. Um. So, yeah, so yeah, origin, and then you've got race down the bottom. 
Yep. Ah, uh, okay. So. Oh, if you click on that, and to the left is how you pick everything. Unlike the other one, which sort of had you go from side to side. Yeah. Okay. Well, as always, I am of the very firm opinion that dwarfs are the best fantasy race because and you can also make sure to do your um your gender and all that too from the bottom right yeah so sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you there just made no no, sure no you're you're all right. good you're all good you're all good i understand all right edit appearance here we go now we're getting into the nitty gritties of it um let's go with this kind of where to now? I'm a little annoyed you can't hmm. color the uh, the scale, that? like not the scales, the uh, the horns Hell, on the Dragon Ball. Like you can only do it in one trapped. color, mm -hmm. which is a bit of a shame. It's opened. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this. Where? Hmm. Let's hope the. Hey. Beware! It's open. More of those wretched things. All right, I'm gonna go with number seven. Um. Gonna go with something a little pale. And then, ooh. Oh, this wasn't here before. All right, do they have- Yes, yeah, so they've added, yeah, they've added in scars. You can do ear piercings, uh, body art. If we had nudity, we could uh, do the uh, genitalia. Hmm. I am a personal fan of the scar here because I actually have like a cut, like just above the right side of my lip. That's like, it's very faded now, and you don't see it with a beard or anything like that. But I, like, crashed off my bicycle one day, and so I just have, like, this little cut. Oof. So. Uh, let's nice. see. Um, Ooh. I'm inclined to add on the Minotaur ring, even though it doesn't go to both noses. Even though for the Dragon Ball it doesn't go to both nostrils, it just puts a little ring on one side. Yeah, okay. Um, ooh. So... Kind of also a shame you can't put piercings on the horns, because that'd be perfect for me, because that... I can have my little... Yeah, like, why don't they? All right. Oh, what? Minotaur. Ah, oh, okay. Um, the oh, Rovian fangs? On these. Oh, no. I'm not much of a... Oh, wait. Bard rings? And then commoner ring. Oh, yeah. I went through some of these yesterday, and for some reason the textures were black. I'm ah. guessing they must have fixed them up in an update quickly. Yeah, they might have. All right. Um, oh, yep. Yeah, here we go. All colors. Um, not no. Nah, demonic is, and then we got elf blue. There's like one that's called like sapphire or something. I remember. Here we go. Sapphires. This is. I love this. Uh, just a. Little, no. No. I just wanted something really light, but I get there's. I get wait. Unless is there like a little. No. Okay. Um, lip tint. Here we go. And just something. Mine doesn't really sort of show anything on the lips. You have to change the lip coloration intensity to show. Like mm, probably. So I'm just going for something like a little bit light, like just to. Give it a little bit of volume. All right, hairs. Here we go. Oh, and they give us a little example of what they are in the little thingy diggy here instead of... Yeah. This is this is going to be a long cycle for sure. Hi there, um, Capricious. Welcome. Let, let you in. No, it's it's me and Code. We're doing fun things together. We're, <laughs> we're, we're fashioning our, like, our best fantasy selves right now, okay? Uh, nah. Uh... Nah, he just looks crazy. <laughs> Don't worry, Cap. You and I will play a game a little later on. Mm. Maybe, maybe on the next stream, if they will let you like be able to have like custom characters go in and out at the start of multiplayer sessions. Maybe we'll be able to do that. By the looks of it, I, I think you can. Um... I'm, I'm actually going to test that with another friend of mine a little mm. later on too. And then these are, you know, I actually like this, the fence board shavings, like, cause this is kind of what my hair IRL is like, like, I'm not trying to go with like zebra style here. I'm trying to go with like actual, like my, my IRL style. All right. Yeah. Um,
Like, I'd love to go with, you know, like, code style, but unfortunately, mm. it's, it's sort of hard to do. Yeah, okay. And then highlight intensity. And then we'll go with, like, a little gold blonde. And then, uh... Now that oh, yeah, no, actually, uh, yeah, Grant. Uh, not Grant. Uh, Cap, the, um... The game is about 122 gigabytes. Oh, yeah, it was intense. All right, where's my... Oh, facial hair. Here we go. Um... Of course, got to give my Dragonborn the big stabby tail. Yeah. Because that thick, stabby, throbbing... T I mean, uh, the tail on my back is, you know, completely necessary. I would bonk you, but I would. I wish to have a beard like this kind of level. Like, look at this. Yeah, Unfortunately, I don't, I don't. I don't like beard. No, no. Well, I like beard. I, I like. Per, I'm, a, I'm a personal fa fan of beard for the self, just because of like. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I, I think roguish was. Roguish is good. It's got a little, little flick in the mustache. If you can, like, just right there. I love it. Um, strawberry bond, that's good. Um, go for a li Becky. little more Lump grain. Smash. Oh, you can go. No, nah, we'll go. We'll go 50%. Ow! Who only bought me? Uh, oh, it, furry, cures. Furry, furry cures did. Thank you, furry cures. All right. Um, Becky, let me smash let me your smash. mom. How do I change the eyebrows? Like, because the eyebrows are um, very gray for some reason. Try, can you do it like on the, I think it's on the face shapes by the looks of it. Um, is it? Maybe. Scarring, freckles, like each of them, maturity. Each of them has a different face shape. Yeah, but like, like the color of the eyebrows is, like, it's just like this very gray and I was like, kind of hoping to fix that. Doesn't, so we got, Eye makeup here, but that's like around the eyes, and the eyes just have like you know pick your thingy majiggy there. Um, I don't really want to do anything with the body art. Hair is hair, like oh, no, no, the graying intensity isn't doing it. A bit of youth in that, like yeah, that's all right. I reckon that's good. I feel like I, as much as I would love for... Oh my gosh, that would be... No, nah, stick to the roguish. He's he's good for now. He's That is almost so much me right there. I'm fine. Um, proceed. Oh, wait. Uh, hang on. Uh, subclass. We've got... All right, hit points increases by one, and then by one by every level. So that's the gold dwarf. Uh, shield Dwarf gets the armor proficiency, and the Doog. Oh no! They changed the... God damn it! They changed the goddamn character! I put so much effort into this one right here, and he's, it's like Gold Dwarf. One extra hit point. No! That's a, that's a stupid sub-race feature. Like, what's this one? See in the dark? Advantage on saving throws against it. This is a normal. That is not a. That is not a sub race trait. Hey, that's only limited to one kind of kind of dwarf. That is a. That is a trait for every dwarf. Ugh. They're nerfing the dwarfs in this from fi from fifth edition. Aha! Uh -huh. How dare they? Everyone laugh at Grant for having a nerfed dwarf. Uh. All right, hang on. I got now. I got to do this all over again. All right, hang on. Quantity, intensity is like. 50%. Deception. Deception. Yeah, the diggies, all the eye colors. Four. Sapphire. There we go. Um, a little more intense of a red. And then... At, le at least I kind of know where... At least I kind of know where everything is. Um... Oh my gosh, I just so want to do a plumbing, but... Nope, stick to your guns. You... You wanted to make your character as you. 
So here's your dark. Yep, cool. And then the highlights is gold blonde with a little bit. There we go. And then the graying is, yep, no intensity. That's what we want. Oh, I got a message from Cat. They had to jump off the stream because apparently they started downloading the update mm -hmm. and it is chewing on their, uh, oh, on their poor download. Oh, no, that's not... I'm sorry, Cap. I hope it gets better. Um, hang on a second. I need to adjust the makeup. I, I made the red a little too intense. Uh, 30%. There we go. Um, all right. There we go. I All right, cool. The shield dwarf is as it is. I'm fine with light and medium like armor proficiencies. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> I, I want to grab a, like a 1D12 and just be like, all right, let's just roll the dice and see what character I can get because this is how I treat... This is how I treat 5th edition run-throughs. Whenever someone's like, oh, what class are you going to play? Are you going to like be a hyper-efficient rogue or something? And I'm going to be like, fuck no. I'm going to be a... I'm going to be a shitty casual Let's go with... Let's go with some simple, like, Chessic red dice with black lettering. Alrighty, um... Which one's a d12? I think... So these oh, are. Oh, you're gonna roll for it, are you? Yeah, I'm gonna roll for it. All right. So there's twelve different classes to choose from. Um, so barbarian is one, druid is four, fighter is five, uh, rogue is. Six, but yeah, so from seven, one eight. to twelve, we're going from barbarian and then wizard to twelve. Yes. So from anywhere between those ones is the class you're gonna pick. Yes. Me, I already know what I'm going with. I prefer to fling fireballs. So sorcerer, dragon, ancestry is my is my uh, go to. Ah, you're magical just because you were fucking born with it, aren't you? Yeah. All right. Let's see. Here I'm we go. A... Give me barbarian. I got a six. Uh, Six, one, no, one, two, one, two, three, four. You're a monk. All righty then. All right, I'm a monk. <laughs> All right, I channel my cosmic enlightenment by deftly dodging and efficiently dis disassembling your foes through stunning strikes and a whirlwind of... I've never played a monk in 5th edition, so this is going to be fun. Um, yep, so flurry of blows is like one kind of action. I use my key points for... Or I'm um, doing all kinds of things. I can't wear any, um, or I can wear armor, but I have a benefit by adding my wisdom to my armor class if I'm not wearing any armor. Um, monk weapons and unarmed scale with my dexterity instead of strength. And attacking with monk weapons and unarmed deals 1d4 bludgeoning unless their normal damage is higher. Um, after making an attack with a monk weapon or while unarmed, you can make an additional unarmed as a bonus action. Alrighty. Um, wisdom 14, intelligence 8, charisma 10. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with this. Um, enter, alright, background. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, alright. Where's my, where's the dice? <laughs> the, oh, you're gonna let that decide, are you? The, the, this, is, this is the best way to play D&D, is being a victim to the dice for, like, the early stuff. Eleven. So I'm an urchin. After surviving a poor and bleak childhood, you know how to make the most of very little. Using your street smarts bolsters your spirit for the journey ahead. I get a bonus to slide of hand and stuff. Alright. All right, so I reckon I reckon that how my character has come to be then is like maybe like being an urchin and such like that. I just I, I'm kind of like Aladdin, like a little street rat. And then, you know, I I, you know, was trying to like, you know, oh, um, trick some maybe some sort of monk unk, or some sort of um, organization. And they were just like, like, this is not the life for you. Ooh, um, you're you have like too much like you know, request for material, let go of such things and learn the way of the fist and such. Learn the ways of the force, young Jedi. I mean, monk. Yes. <laughs> you, 
I wonder if it's gonna be like D and D fifth edition, where you're ba where you're gonna have like the like there's subclasses, and one of them is like the way of the sun, I think, where you're basically like being able to do kami kami haas and flying. <laughs> Stop, All right, I decided to do I decided to do the same thing. I've rolled for my background. Uh-huh. So I've got 7. I'm a noble. Oh, okay. A noble, a noble sorcerer. Nice. So that's the only thing I'm going to roll on for that cuz everything else is just the thing I like. So All right. All right, okay. All right, so simple weapon, short sword, battle axes, hand axes, light hammers and hammers, uh light to medium armor. Wearing medium will not. Yep, cool. Ah, enjoy. I. Alrighty then. Oh, look, look at my guy. Look at your guy. Look at your little guy. Yep. So. Abilities. I think I'm gonna keep them as is in abilities for the recommended. It's. Temp. You know what? It's. Wait. Can I lower this? You can. You can lower and raise. Oh, it's a it's a point buy system. It's not a roll. So you do clear, and then you do point by. I can't go lower in the eight. I'd have to lower my charisma to like eight is the eight is the lowest. I was gonna make my intelligence lower to increase one of my other stats. Was the thing? Yeah, no, I think yeah, no, eight is the lowest you can go. Yeah. Alrighty. Otherwise, your guy will be sitting there going. Ha, da, 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 you can monster. you can have a you can have a very low intelligence sort of character. Like the only issue is like player v player interactions. Like. I, I was playing a character that had like an intelligence of like seven or six and I wanted to try something in a puzzle and the other players were like, oh, you couldn't possibly know this because you're an intelligence of this. And I'm like, that should not be like, that should not yeah. be like, don't do that. Like, don't, don't say you like, if I, because let's be real, like most people aren't going to be above an intelligence of 10. 10 isn't average. Yeah. 10 is like exceptionally good, like, or just a little is above average. That's what 10 is. Yeah. Although I'm wondering if I should put my plus one into dex to give myself plus two to initiative, or if I should put it in constitution, though it doesn't give me much in constitution. Mm. I mean, it's just physical endurance um, for that. Intelligence is mostly for wizards. Uh, wisdom is for clerics, druids, and rangers, and strength is. Who I don't really, really even need strength as a sorcerer. Yeah. Um, so I think I might pop it one into dexterity to give me that plus two to initiative. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more into. Because what you can do is, so you see the on the right hand side there, you've got those little check boxes. Yeah. So you can assign the plus two or the plus one to whichever one you want. Yeah. So I have a the the plus two is to my dexterity because that's how I'm going to be um, doing my um, because the monk's damage is going to be doing a bit from the dexterity. Yeah. And then the bonus is to con because I do not want con to be lower. And then I have wisdom as a oh actually hang on. I'm gonna have the wisdom at sixteen and the con can be a fourteen. Also hi there wild saber. After hours of rearranging your room, you now have a computer desk and a dual monitor setup. Nice work. Woo. I am running four monitors on this desk and only three of them are on right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm running three monitors. Excellent. Okay. So I'm using one to watch the Twitch in case something goes up. I've got one on my mm. chat side and then one for the game. Mm. Alrighty. Um, all right, I think I'm good. I'm ready to proceed. It also gives you a chance to stress test the cooling on this computer, too. Nice. Good work. Um, my character name. I'm just keeping mine as code. He is going to be from my long line of long ago. Hang on. It's like cookie for furry cures. All right. You ready for this code? You ready for some real great? Long ago, there was a dwarf e. that I made in 3.5, and his family has continued on to 5th edition. And... Um, his name long ago, the very first dwarf I made was Herkin Durkin. Herkin Durkin. Now, there has always been a Durkin in the Dungeons and Dragons that I've played. Either me DMing and I introduce a, use someone from the Durkin line, or I play as one of the many dwarfs and their name is Durkin. Merkin Durkin was the last dwarf I played because he was a, he was a warlock and he was magical. So Merkin Durkin, 
for this monk, I shall bestow upon him Hurt and Durkin. Hurt and Durkin. Hurt and Durkin. There we go. Because <laughs> he, he be hurting that Durkin? Yep. Hurt and Durkin. <laughs> you need to guard him. <gasps> Choose one. Wait, Sounds Guardian? Like the name of Fancy Swathage. Uh, oh, yeah. Didn't they... They gave it, like, a different name for these things. Like... Yeah, they said, what is the something or other... Oh, there's no Dragonborn for the Guardian. Oh. Alright. As much as well, I... Well, that's a load of crap. Alright, well, we're going Tiefling. Asmodeus. I think I might go Tiefling as well. Are the horns changing? No, they're not. Cool. Um... Sub race. Good luck. Follow your instincts. Remarkable. Follow you know what? For instincts. this, for this, I think Don't what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to do dice rolls for this. Mm -hmm. All right. For the startup of it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For the for the race, so race is going to be eight. So that's going to be a halfling. A little bit of, of wrinkle to her. Uh, sub race between. So I'm going to do it as a four. So one to two will be Lightfoot, three to four will be Strongheart. Nah, she's going to. Oh, okay. Okay, four is Strongheart. Alright. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, ooh, I do. Let's see. I'm just making my... Don't mind me. I'm just making my waifu right now. Then... Yeah, I like the rose. All right, we're going to go with the rose. Piercings. All right. Fastened stars. Ooh. This is, this is really important. I don't want, like... I don't want a lot of dangly stuff, is the thing. But I, I just want... Okay, maybe bard rings, then. Wait, can I change her horns? Where's her horns? Why can't I... Oh, hang on. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to change her horns. Let me change her horns! <gasps> there it is! Horns! Um... Where are they? There was like a set with like, <gasps> oh, there we go, with some little, with some little gold and lace. Yeah. Then some dark ash. And then yellow. Mm. And facial hair. All right. Um. Nah, you're gonna be like a. Uh, don't... Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Nah. Ooh, I do like. Yeah, let's go Black Raven. Let's get that some goth stuff. And then. Really goth them out, like, Mom, it's not a fair. Shush! <laughs> this, is, this is important! <laughs> Oh, it has physics! It's not a phase, Mom. <laughs> it's not a phase, Mom. <laughs> all right, uh, all right, so a little bit of highlight. All right, um, let's go with a little bit of purple. Yeah, okay, all right, all right, okay. And then no graying. And then let's have a look. Um, 
All right, I got my guy ready. Well, I, well, I don't keep it down there. Oh, ooh, okay. Okay, finished. No, I'm not. Oh, that's that's cool. I like this. Oh, but it's clipping through the hair. It needs to. The hair needs to complement the horns. Needs to complement the horny. Yeah. Someone, someone bonk code. This is this is no. this isn't this isn't horny. This is this is this is just. They have horns. This is, this They're is, horny. This is classy. Okay. This is a this is a classy guardian lady. Okay. Oh uh, sure sure. Oh. Classic horny guardian lady. Y'all know I'm right. Mm. Oh oh, this is. No. I... It needs to be, needs to be like in. Con I, I do like the buns. He likes buns. Percent user percent <laughs> thinks you should do something. And they spots. were roommates. I need to fix that TTS, but there's now an advertisement going off. I need to do my squats. How many do I have to do? Sixty. Uh, quickly, get going. Oh my god! All right, here we go. Sixty squats. You gonna join in with me, chat? No. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. <sighs> I mean, my fat ass look like it's capable of One, doing squiddy squats. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, You're right 39, back. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, Oh, two more to go. Fifty-one. Fifty-two. Fifty-three. Fifty-four. Fifty-five. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. Sixty. <gasps> glug, glub, glug, glub, glug. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Thank you. Oof. Okay, that was a lot. I didn't think I was gonna get up to 60 for the, like the first, um. Oh. Where's my water? Okay, so who asked me to do squats? Angrel. I think you might want to change that down to five squats per redeem, because otherwise you're going to be out of breath. Paid me to say, I'm out I of breath right now. Understand the power you gave yeah, me. see, if like, you get a hundred of those between now and the next thing, you are going to be fucked. Well, otherwise, probably turn the price up a little bit. Probably will. Hang on, I need to get a water. <laughs> right here. Uh, here we go. Because the only thing we're going to hear next time is going, is Grant going, and five, thought on the ground. <laughs> yeah, alrighty. Do a... <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, but I did them. You did them. I, I did 60 squats in one sitting. 
All right. Um, Your whole legs are going to be on fire. Maybe. We'll no we'll figure that out in the next. Oh, you know why I did 60 instead of like, you know, a really low mount? It's because the initial the initial advertisement, the three minute thing you need to get at the start, stopped advertisement for like an hour. Uh. So now the next advertisement's in like 30 minutes or less than that. And so there's going to be less opportunity for, you know, that many squats to go off. So, yeah, no, I'm going I'm to be good. I'll be fine. Okay. We'll see how we go. Yeah. So, anyway, come on. Let's get this character in. We've already been here for an hour. Yep. Okay. Sorry. Um, let me just quickly get the, the makeup out of the way. Um, hang on. Glossy? Oh, and stop, stop teasing poor Grantus. <laughs> Hang on. Um, intensity, it's going to be like 50%. <laughs> you don't understand, Chad. I need to make the perfect woman. <laughs> All right. Um, he wants to see it turn into a giant oh. woman. Oh. Oh, wait. No, hang on. With a little red in there. Furicures no. 1221 paid me to say, let's see how firm that butt is. Oh, so firm. Yeah. So firm, he can bounce ping pong balls off of it. Yeah, thing. okay. Oh, you're ready to go, okay. Yep, ready to go. Ow. Sorry, I get, the, I get the stream delay a little bit, so I was like, wait. Oh, uh, okay, hang on a sec. Um, does it, hang on. Uh, stream. That way you can see it from Discord. Yeah, if it doesn't slow, because I might just, uh, yeah. Uh, Watch from the Discord, probably a little bit more. Spending five hours on a character creator is the best part. You're not wrong. I just wish I could change the booby size. They have not introduced that as an option. I mean, you can adjust the genitalia a little bit, but then of course you've only got the option of either PP pee -pee or Vuvuzela. Mm. Yes, I know they call it Vulva, but I'm calling it a Vuvuzela. Vuvuzela. <laughs> All right. Code, I do 300 spots a day. Well, Bone, that is because you are a very energetic person. Yeah. Bone does like, and it's like a hundred and, oh, there's the Wilhelm scream. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah. Well, he did. Yep. Ooh. I think it's lagging a little bit on my end. That might be because you're streaming it on there. Oh, uh, okay. Give me a second. Um, let me I change the quality for, to... I Wait. mean, don't worry about streaming it on Discord. Don't worry about streaming it on the Discord. Hi, Chase. Welcome to the stream. You just missed out on me doing 60 squats during the ad break. And we're just going through the beginning, like, thingy madiggy of um, Baldur's Gate. Don't worry about streaming it on the Discord. It doesn't matter if I get that few seconds behind. All right, then. Fair enough. Because I lowered it to, like, 15 frames a second, 720p. <laughs> yeah, just, just stop it from the Discord. All righty, then. Because, I mean, this is going to be a very demanding game. Yeah, no, fair enough. But I have a very demanding PC. Really? Is it anything like mine? Well... Yeah, it's a 3090 with a 7950X. Okay, you have a very name. impressive PC, though. Like, yeah. Like the, 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 the CPU that I got, they originally were going to do the one lower to it, but the one that I've got is the one up from it, because the one that was lower to it, that was one down from it, was actually going to be two or three weeks away. So they said, look, if you're willing to put in an extra 150, you know, we've got it coming in tomorrow, we can do that one instead. So I'm like, you know what, 150, that's not too bad, so. Because um, I'd already paid for it. They said, look, you can do it through Zoom Pay too if you want to do it that way to pay off for that. So I just had it all sorted for 150. And um, so the one that I've got is actually made for 3D rendering. Okay, that's good, that's good. Like for doing Blender and stuff like that with. Hmm. If I was smart enough to do Blender. <laughs> I'm I'm not smart enough to do Blender. I'm doing my best. You made a fucking Claymore that looks really good, so... Yeah, and then Avalon was just sort of like, Oh, that's not a... 
Because, <laughs> like, it was meant to be a bastard sword or something, and they're like, ah, that's not, that's not right, the handle is all wrong, the cross guard is doing something fucky. <laughs> ah, what do they know? Everything. They are my, they are my subject matter expert for all things, um, metallic fist, uh, European boxing style. So yeah, this is where we got cinematic on that. The cinematic looks so fucking sweet. It did look awesome. It's a shame that we like talked over it this entire time. But to be fair, I we've know. both seen this and this is technically something that's in the trailer, like on YouTube and all that kind of such as well. It's not like something yeah. hugely new for us, like um, like whatever happens in the next half hour. Oh, there's me. And I'm popping out on my end. Mm -hmm. Waking up from the sleepies. Yep. What, why do I have the big version number in the top right? Hang on a second. Uh, actually, I've got, the, I've got that too. Hang on. Video. Like, we don't need that. Um. Um. In case assets are slowly loading, dynamic crowds. Like. Hang on. Uh, let me have a looky loo. Just check the interwebs. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Turning off version numbers. Because, yeah, it's weird that it's. Um, there is no menu to turn this off as a separate option. All right. Well, we'll we'll figure it out. Like, they'll probably switch it off at some point. I think at the uh, I think at the moment because of it's still being released. Yeah. Alrighty then. Okay. So this is this. So yeah, because I didn't get to see your your guy. So this is your dude. He has no horn. I got studs on the back of my head. I didn't like the horns. I felt they looked really dumb because you couldn't color them. Ah. Uh, Otherwise, okay. I would have done them with a nice red. The you sure there was? Because like for the tiefling, it, like the horns was at the bottom. No, there, there wasn't. I double check. Oh. Okay. Uh, investigate the pool. Uh, require a check. I have neg one on intelligence. Let's see how we do, chat. Yeah. Oh, nice. First good roll of the session. This is going to be a good session. Just let me know when you need to click on something, because that way I can be aware to click on it. touch and... could cause it to crumble. Did you... Like, are you, um... What's yeah, the yeah, I, seeing I, this I mean, I, yeah, yeah, I am. And don't forget, you guys, if you're in chat, you guys can go to the... Uh, to the thing, and I think there are ways for you guys to sort of... Mm -hmm. Uh, affect... Uh, chats and all that sort of stuff. I'm not sure how. There are ways to do it. We, yeah. We're not sure yet on how. Ooh, a pearl. Yes, please. Uh, mind flare pod. No, I think it's well. I think alt. So hold alt, and that'll highlight everything that we can interact with. Ah, uh, yep, 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 yep. Just doing a long. long There's roll. the restoration. Yep. Don't waste. Oh, a hang step. on. There's a comp uh, a chest over here. Uh. Ice arrow and some gold. Where are you? All right, hang on. Let me come down to you. Oh, you're in like a little. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I've opened that oh, up. Oh, so... okay. So it was up here. Oh, I didn't realize there was an up, quote unquote. Uh, yeah, there's an up here as well. Hang on. So. Yeah. Oh. Okay, the vote dialogue option was very delayed there. Oh, I. Because what happened is, is I turned on the community thingy, Madiggy, and then I, like, you know, picked my option very quickly. Yeah. So, like, it was probably not that great. Wait, where am I? Am I, like, walking around somewhere randomly? Uh, I don't know where you are. Hang on, where are you? Where, where am I? Uh, says you've gone... Oh, no, nope, there I am. I'm, so... Gold. Where you is? There, where there you is. is. There I am. Um, I, can't, I can't see you. Where is you? I think it was. Yeah. Ooh, a rune slate? Visions project into your mind. 
a nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic energy. It okay. doesn't look like there's anything else around here. Nah. Okay, so yeah, because the way I got up here was from this long ass sort of staircase here. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright, let's go through the sphincter. Alrighty then. It's literally called a sphincter! <laughs> I believed you, I didn't. Like, I was thinking the very same thing. Oh, there's a goblin over here. Yeah. Hey, the gold is actually shaped like how it's printed in the thingy madiggies. Yeah. Uh, do you want to interact this time with Images the, uh, with the mana? Yes, please. All right, hang on. So we go I interacted here. with it when we first, let me, let me come up the ladder so I can at least make sure that we're... Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And then it was to, uh, yeah. Mithrin something. Yeah. So give it a second and let the, the cutscene roll. Mm-hmm. Yep, and then he's twitching. You've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Oh, I've already Please. passed my perception check. Before they return. They return. Who am I? <laughs> uh, who am I talking to? A man or a brain? Born new from this husk. You know no. Don't forget, you've got like a. Um... One that is more brain than person. Oh, I failed the Arcana check. Uh, you sound afraid. Enemy. Why? So many enemies. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Uh, um, so you've got strength. Dex is probably your best option. Yeah, Dex will be my best option. But I'm just going to read the... Yeah, I passed the investigation check. Success. You notice edema, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Um. So Dex would be your best option if you're going to do that. Yeah. All right. I'm going to say start a. Um... Wait, why is it? Here we go. Start a community poll for this. Is it not going to do its thing? Hang on, let me have a look. Like, if I click this button here... Ah. Have you made sure to connect it to your actual yeah, thing I did. on? Yeah, I did. Like, it was there, like, like you said, it was delayed, and see, it's connected to Grand Zeeves. I think maybe it's because you've, like, Oh, maybe it's because it's not like a decision choice. It's like a ability choice. Yeah. All right. Well, I can roll f wisdom. I can roll in it like this is a wisdom throw and I actually have like a bonus to my wisdom and this is with advantage. So I'm better off with this thing because I was able to do the um, the medical check. So now it's like I get to roll. I get to have like the best of two rolls and I get a plus three on my wisdom. So. Oh, I needed that plus three. Ooh, that was close. I needed that plus three. That was very close. Mm. But that's what D&D &D is all about. It's it's a, it's the chance, it's the roll of the dice, and then it, everything to, you know, stop it. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Mmm, that's not necessary. We are free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. It is very few, Blackwing, you are correct. Home. We are needed. Uh, what's the at the helm? Tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? 
We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Uh. Uh. All right. Let's go. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. There we go. All right. All right so he's partnered with you. Yep. And then. I wonder if it looks like there's some stuff on this guy, too. Oh, let's have a look. Ah, no, nothing. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it, his, his head, like, in the, um, in the thingy-madiggy, like, here is... Yeah, just cut off. Yeah. <laughs> I love how it's like they still gave him, like, the pose and everything, but then... Head. Dead. Hmm. All right, uh, nothing in there. I, I, guess, I guess you could say he lost half of himself. I was going to make a head joke, but, it, you know, the head has to be lopped off for that. Yeah, no. Nah. For some reason, my sounds still don't want to do its thing. Like, why? It says voice mod needs to run. Voice mod is running, thank you very much. Hey, why do you have to take my shirt? I didn't take your shirt. I, I can see it right there. Code the Yoshi redeemed stolen shirt. I didn't do it. I, I, I see you have. No, no, no. You're not, a, you're not as... My account got hacked. Yep. <laughs> Again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, so, mm. yeah, that's the why. Oh, I can't... Oh, that's that's Eldritch Tablet. Of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more. Flash behind your eyes. Gosh, this holding down the alt button is definitely going to be, um... I think there's a way to do it as a toggle. Well, I, I don't want it as a toggle, because, like, otherwise, it's going to be like detective mode in Batman, where it's just going to run the entire time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it threw us both into the cutscene as soon as... Nice. Oh. And there's... What's my hoozies? She was in the, the thingy. Abomination. Yeah. This is your end. The gift spanky. I mean, yanky. Your head the gift spanky. And your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh! oh. <sighs> What's up? So a dragon swing and what a silver this? sword. Mm. So does anyone remember when I played through um, no Demon soul. Stone for Blackest PC for Dungeons and Dragons? Together. No. The silver sword is the silver sword of the Gith Yankee. Oh, I don't get it. Uh, Who are you? What made you think I was a troll? We mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. <laughs> it will remain tame. Oh, what the hell's going on? I don't know. It may be of use in the fight. That's just now. funny to see happen. What the hell? All right. That wasn't on my end. I, I think it was a glitch on my side because I was like going in between it. All right, time to deal with these little imps. Good All right. Combat. All right, so it's my turn. And mine because we've both rolled the same initiative. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. We both moved together. All right. So what I might do is I might use fireball on the furthest target. Yep. I'll attack this one. It follows me everywhere. Do I have the opportunity for a bonus action? Yes, I do. Yeah, you can oh. walk or I can shove. Um, yeah, I can't. So... That's all I've got, really, that I can do. Yeah, I, and I can't move close enough. There we go. I'm fury. I am death. So there's one imp just over yonder, just over here. I don't know if there's a way for me to highlight. Oh, I can see it, but, like, I'm too far away. Um, ranged attack? There we go. Yeah, so she's got she's a fighter. She has both access to bow and 
Yep. Melee. Okay. Um, second wind, pommel, nah. Okay, so that's her over. And then range attack on me. Okay, so I can do another fireball. Fireball, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, because I didn't have the distance. Um, oh, I got a potion of speed. Actually, I'll give that to you. Hmm. So I threw that over at you, so it's in your inventory now. Oh, is it? Yep. Oh, yep, here it is. Potion of speed. I see it. Uh, nothing on that end. One day I'll catch a break. Um, uh, a crossbow. Oh, that might be useful. Um, that might be useful for me if I, if I have proficiency with it. Ah, here's a light crossbow. I yeah, have... that's one that I've also got here. Yeah, I got proficiency with a light crossbow. Yeah, same. But given the fact that I'm, you know, flinging fireballs, I don't really need it. Fair enough. Also, why didn't it... Huh. For some reason, it doesn't change the... All right, dink. Another light crossbow. I'm going to take it anyway. Um, We're good for now. Well oh, hang on, there's a dead thrall over here. Let me have a look at him. Oh, oh just a block of gold. Still, that's worthwhile, isn't it? Yep, imp, uh, hand axe. Not much point in us taking it since, you know, neither one of us can really use it. I wonder if there's like a way to... Oh, you... you need to, you need to, uh, so you just separated her. So no, at the moment you can't put her on me. Because she's chosen you. Ah, uh, okay. Assume nothing. Still breathing, despite everything. Oh, hang on, so... No time to rest. Oh, camp supply sack, alchemy pouch, and keychain. Okay, so that's interesting. I was just looking at our party lot. Oh yeah, we can like look at everyone here. Why are you purple? I'm not purple. You're purple on my thing. I'm blue. It's, that's Oh yeah, because you're purple on mine. Oh, okay. All right. Um, okay, so... Yep, so light crossbow in ah, here. Ah, so the keychain is... Yep, yeah, okay, so the keychain... Wait, what? Ah, uh, okay, so these bags here, the camping supplies and all that, they're for certain items that we'll pick up along the way. Uh, hang on. Uh, a little rusted, use the jangles, yep. And then stores your ingredients, stores your camp supplies. Ah, okay. Still, I wonder... Okay, so now I'm... Ch Inventory and spellbook and character sheet. Okay. So... Let's get going. Yeah, we'll look still... more further into it a little we'll later. Yep. Another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Do you have a better armor class than a worse armor class than ten? No, mine's still ten. Simple robes, so that wouldn't do me any good. Alrighty then. And don't forget, as a as a mage, I can only sort of wear clothes, not um. Armors. Not any armor. Yep. I think a monk, you can still wear some light armor. Yeah, but I have, but like until it gets to like a decent armor, like I have, it's more advantageous for me to stick to um, clothes as well because my wisdom modifier can add into my what's my hoosies. Your armor. Yeah, which you know normally if you do your stat line correctly, it's like it, that gives you like plus three. So until you get like an armor that gives you an AC of like fourteen yeah. plus, it's not usually not worth. Touch All right, let me talk to her. Purpose. The Mind Flayer pod. Oh yeah, do you so, want to open that one? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yep, all right, you, you open it. You might want to click on so everyone can see what's going on. Oh, are you doing it right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you waiting for? Oh. Open. Uh, hey, as a sorcerer, you can do like Arcana. That's what I'm gonna do. Yep. So I'm gonna click to roll that dice. 
Oh, the difficulty check is only a mere seven for you. Damn. That's cool. All right. Warding ruins. You feel them drawing energy from the console near to the pod. Keep trying. There's got to be something that'll open this. Uh. Hurry, please. Okay, so click this one here. What? This touch? Yeah, yeah, no, I've, I've, I'm touching it. Oh. It's weird that it's not, because you had, like, the thing, we we turned on the thingy Madiggy for the private moments to become a thing, right? Yeah, but you've still got to click on me to view them. Ah, uh, okay. And, oh, good. Yeah, you got, you got a plus, like, you have overall a plus three, so, which is still pretty good. The pulsing yep. glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Strangle Perhaps it. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. All right, place your hand on the console. Percent user percent Suddenly thinks you should you do feel 30 squats. Squirm All right, I got it. This is a lot more manageable, Episode. 30 squats. Then discomfort yep. fades, and another sensation right, washes over you. Oh, big stretch. Authority. All right, so we're going to do wisdom here to open the pod. All right. One. Oh, God, difficulty two. If two, I get a one, I'm going to be three. fucking upset. <laughs> no, good. Four. Five. Six. You feel the seven, biomechanical brain of the console eight, process your command. Nine. And yield to it. Ten. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Don't click anything for another minute, okay? Yep. Because there's an advertisement going off. Yeah. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 54, 126. No, 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 I already, I already did the squats I needed to do. Also, I'm going to just really quickly go into the actions and adjust the uh, message for the ad break squats because it's it's trying to be like, oh, this many, like this user percent user should do this many squats. Yeah. All right, should I click on it now or? And things you should. All right, there we go. Um, yep, all right, you ready? Yep, uh, hang on, I'll click on her. Yep. All right, clicking on her. All righty. There you go. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind oh. lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness because you have a gith with you. Ah, oh, darn gith. Keep Dangerous company. Gith. Dangerous company? <laughs> what do you need in a fight? Nah. Yep. I'll ask if she's got a problem with Gith Yankee. Gith Yankee. have a problem with everyone else. But there's more important matters right now. Survival. Her head's Let doing like a weird thingy madiggy. We can get off this ship and watch like each it's... other's backs along the way. Sort of on, on a lean. Yeah, it did like a little lean kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, all right, then let's get going. I'm Code Yoshi. Shadowheart. One moment. <laughs> oh, she picks up a cool dice. That's That ain't suspicious. That? Trust me, there's no time to spare. Lead the way. Sure. See, because right. now she's teamed up with me. Yep. All right. Uh, oh, there's a backpack oh, there's here. Some items. Yeah, there's some items over here. Malachite and a thingy. Uh, 
Uh, I'll have a look at the. Oh no, the. Oh what? The um. What no is... thieves tools. Ah okay. Oh, it wants a key. Um. Let's find. The man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. I don't know if there's a key around here. The man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. A brain in a oh, are you, oh my goodness, you can you can fight some like check this out. The man isn't dead. And then there's a button in the bottom totally left. Oh, never mind. Oh. Um Life flickers in his eyes. Well he did. He seems totally Nah, it looks like you can't, like, attack him. Like, there's an option to attack him if you want. Elaborate relic query. No. Alright, let's go this way. Oh, yeah, that's... Conveniently, the right di direction. Oh, hang on. Whoa, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hi there, Nano Gamer. Welcome, welcome. Hello. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. All right, let's make sure we've all had a heal, restoration. Well, no, we're all good. Sophia, got... you and I are a little squishy in this at the moment. Yeah, no, fair enough. I accept that. I'm not as squishy as you, though, so. Yep, ready to enter the helm. Nice. Oh, that's interesting. Like, normally there was like a little bit of fighting for us, but right, this one like puts us right away to to this. Hmm. Oh. Oh, uh, there may still be a fight. Wall. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape now. Do it. We will deal with the geek after we escape. Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect them. All right. Yeah. So we're still fighting. We need to get out of here now. All righty. I am going to. Where is it? A lot of fireball. The further stem. Take that one out of commission first. We're gonna. Blood comes easy these days. I'm gonna dash, so I can get to. Oh, darn it, I have to, like... There's fire there. Done. I put myself into a bad spot there. Yeah, you did. Um... And then I've used all my actions. Um... So that's my turn ended. So... There we go. Swift and lethal. All right, I'm gonna move no him as far waste. forward as I can, and then shoot an arrow. All right, now Why you don't. Why am I on fire? Because you're standing next to fire. You like rocked through it. It's a good thing I've got resistance to it. Yeah. Otherwise, that would have been an even bigger problems. All right, and then this imp is trying to do something. Ow. <laughs> Alrighty. I did get a little bit of damage from that, so uh, I'll dash. All right, I can't dash, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna make my dash all the way up here. This time, try to avoid. Last time, I got right next to this guy over here. Yeah, the red you guy, got. And he killed me. Yeah, and because you entered and then later exited their um their melee range, they had an act attack of opportunity. All right. Yeah. Uh. Um, so where are you? I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you shield of faith as well, just to give you a little bit of extra Thank protection. Because uh, gonna... it looks like it's a cantrip, so I can use it quite a fair few times. Yeah, that's good. All right. Um, My path be true. Just taking shit as I go along. Yeah. Uh, resistance. No, nothing else I can really. I don't want to waste too many of her. Yeah. 
Alrighty. Um... So I'm going to dash again, try and get myself as close Swift here as, as possible. My feet can carry me. Yep. So. Oh. Oh, Durgan. Yep. Hurry before they strike. All right, so we got to yeah, get. Yeah, no shit, Shirley Temple. I'm going to place myself just over here, hopefully just out of range a little bit. Hey, a topaz from the Mind Flare. High defense. Oh my gosh, they're like really high up. Um, I'm going to throw a pot shot and see how they go. All right. Examine an entity. Oh, needy. So you press T to examine them. Yeah. Resistance to slashing, bludgeoning. Um, so apparently if you kill him, you can actually get his flaming sword. Uh, yes. If we can, but don't forget his AC is like 18. He's a bit, he's a bit of an insane effer. Yeah. So we don't really want to go trying to fuck with him. Plus we've only got 13 turns oh, remaining. So for peace. Yep. I feel the best option is for us to sprint straight ahead and try and get to the thing. Yep. Leave him to me. Connect to the transponder. Or your spiny Alrighty. Um, we must take the transponder. Where did my dash go again? Here it is. Got it. Ah, oh, you reached it? The helm's yep. alien transponder. You've made it in time. Nice. Ew, wormies. Worms. Oh, the dragon's ready to, like, absolutely torch this place. The. Did you just. Did you just grin at the fucking dragon? You were just like. E. <laughs> Maybe. Uh -oh. I mean, you know, them dragons be well hung. Ugh. <laughs> oh shit, this is gonna hurt! Oh my god, look at him just fucking cl clinging on for dear life. Nice. Pickpocketing. Well, apparently as well, um, there was actually a campaign for Dungeons and Dragons that was actually done recently uh, that actually takes place before the events of this game. Oh yeah, Def uh, Descent into the What's a It's yeah. It was one of their um, adventure things. I, I'm pretty sure I have that book. It's where you can get the Abyssal... It's where they like give reference to the Abyssal Chicken. <laughs> now it's more like... <laughs> I have no idea what that sounded like in chat. Just hearing hearing a fully grown zebra just going. <laughs> Code don't pull a donkey. I mm. would never. <gasps> Wait, no, that's not my tiefling. Dead. I, I got excited. I saw a tiefling and I got excited. <laughs> I'd pull the dragon instead. Mm. Hey, oh. But yeah, I, chat is confused. The abyssal chicken. It's, it, it says as it is on the tin. It's a chicken from the Abyssal Plain. Hey, there's my character. I thought we were going to be stuck looking at um, your um, Dragonborn all this time. Oh, what? My Dragonborn not good enough for you? Well, I played this game. Like, oh, this, is, this is my campaign. I thought I was going to be in this. <laughs> You just got smacked the fuck out. Yeah, and I'm about to... Oh, God. How do I... Oh. Oh. I'm alive. I wanted to see the dwarf go splat. I don't want to see the dwarf. That's my dwarf. I know. That's Herkin Durkin. Hurtin' Durkin. Hurtin' Durkin all over the workin'? Hmm. Hurtin' Durkin, Brady right Burkin. Oh, we've each got an individual cutscene here, do we? Oh, okay. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Yum. Uh, uh, check yourself for injuries. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A 
a miracle given everything you've been through, but it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. <laughs> oh, need a cure. We've been separated. The underscore Neko underscore Dante 33. No, no, we've always been this way, but we've been separated from those other two. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> oh. Uh, Mangled Fisher. I'm going to look at him over here. Um. Oh, he had some gold on him. <laughs> Never wanted the easy path. All right. Oh, that's um, what's Mahuzi? That's um, Shadowheart. You want to click on her this time? Yes, please. And right. she's holding her um, dice thing. I'm gonna wake her. Mm. You're alive. I'm alive. Just wake her by violently shaking possible? her. Just fucking wake up! <laughs> is this working? <laughs> I don't know if you're dead. Is this working? Uh, fun fact, chat. Do not shake people if they're lying unconscious. You might break something. Um, oh, it's, you've got sinking cloud save too. Yeah, it's. Just, yeah, I noticed it like earlier on, like way earlier on in the top left. Falling. The nothing. Um, do you have any idea, uh, what happened to our gift friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Um, she might be injured or worse. More concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. A we healer? Might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. True enough. So, and you're absolutely correct, Neko. You, know, you could either cause brain damage or break their neck by shaking them when they're unconscious. Do you have any idea yeah. where we are? I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. True enough. We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Well, me and Code are like, you know... Fucking two peas in a pod, two brain cells in a brain. Exactly. One thing. Yep. Just before we go, I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. <laughs> Shadow Heart approves. I'll remember that. Lead the Clementine way. will remember that. Hmm. Alrighty. Also, I'm the one that opened the pod, you dumb bitch. Yeah, but like, you know, this is a single player game with a little bit of co-oping. They're gonna they're gonna cut some corners in the dialogue. Oh, there's a pouch in a backpack. I'll take the pouch. I'll open this crate. <laughs> oh. This backpack you were talking about. I got a potion of healing. I have a brimmed hat. Would you like a hat? Uh does it do anything? Uh, it's a hat, like Suspicion, uh, suspension of mirage, or what? You picked up something that's suspicious. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I picked up a recipe. Oh, okay. Because if I picked up an item. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a dead fisher over here. I'm going to check them out. Fish. And a devourer. Oh. Oh, you're on that side. Okay. Yep, I'm on this side. I haven't gone too far. All right. So it's like this is the Mind Flayer ship over here. Oh, yeah, and you can see up ahead, it looks like there's at least... It looks like a few we'll of the towers are still alive. Yeah, but they're injured, so... More of those wretched things. Yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna... Oh, you, 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 you click on the abducted commoner. Yep. Uh, another dagger. And then... Nothing on this guy. Do we want to go in? I mean, we're probably going to have to, I think. All right. Yeah, they're like half dead. One of them's dashing to me. Well, better stay back. One strike could be lethal. All right. I am going to do a melee. 
Uh, situate, you have unlocked an action as the result of another ability, feature, or condition. It will remain at the side of your hotbar or until conditions expire, such as the unarmed strike. So I can hit it again. There we go. And then... How are you technically doing an unarmed strike when you're using, you know, a fucking staff? Because the staff is a monk weapon. Paid me to say uh -huh. there's an incoming fax for you. Oh, there's a fax for me, apparently. It's just printing right now. Hang on. It says, damn you swole. Damn, I'm swole. Hell yeah, I'm swole. Look at these muscles. Look at these. All right. Um... Okay. So I think you've got movement, and then it's going to be the two brains turns, and then shadow hearts, and my turn. Yeah, I'm going to move over to the right here. End my turn. You have one there, and I don't see where the other one is. Oh, it's dashing. Yep. When they dash, dash. they don't have an action available for them because dashing is the action. So this is oh, like. I see the other one. Yep. There it is. Alrighty. Um. Oh, she doesn't have any. All right, cool. On I go. <laughs> Wizard time, motherfuckers! Wizard. Fireball! Wizard time! Um, I thought it was motherfucker. Oh, it's a melee it? range. Okay. Um, here we go. Guiding bolt. Yeah, ninety-five both directions. That one's a ten, so I'm gonna have this one hit first. And it just gets absolutely decimated. So I'm gonna. You've made a grave mistake. Donk. Also, I've out. given you the ice. Oh, we got a level up. Woo. You've gained a level experience. Okay, go to level up screen. So looks like we click on our character. Uh, oh, and then you click level up on the top. Yep. All right. So it gives me. Hey, and it gives you class features like it does in 5th edition when you do levels up, so this is going to be fun. Oh, nice. I got a health increase. Yep. I got a sorcery points too. Spell slot unlocked. Okay, gained a spell. Let's see. Gained a key point. My movement speed has increased by 3 meters while I'm not wearing armor or using a shield. This is... that's good. Um... Attack rolls against you have disadvantage, and you have advantage on dexterity saving throws. Double. I might do feather fall. Feather fall is always very useful. Uh, nice. Meta magic. Um, so I've got extend spell, double the duration of conditions, summons, and surfaces caused by spells. Mm-hmm. Uh, Allies automatically succeed saving throws against spells that require them. Probably useful if I'm flinging fireballs around. Yep. Right. And twin spells uh, cost one sorcery point per spell slot. Cantrips also cost one sorcery point. Ah, okay, so I can target an additional target. Always useful. Um, hang on. Type. There we go. Um, Alright, so... Arrow of Ice. So I got dagger, hand axe, rapier. Scimitar. I have a hat. Yeah, I gave you a hat. Look at my hat. Can I actually look at your hat? Hang on. If you press I, you can look at it. Examine. Hey! <laughs> look at this hat. Look at the hat on this man's. Mm -hmm. Unlike the Rothka who can't wear hats. Yeah. I'm hoping they fix that soon. You think they would, considering they've made a like there's a very simple mod that like just throws the hat on the the bunnies and and the cats and they just like half the time it's like, "Yep, yeah, totally fine with it." Oh, there's a chest up here. Oh. Hang on, so I'm going to have a look. All righty then. Um uh simple toxin. Uh coat your active weapon with a toxin that deals additional. That could be good for a rogue if we get one later on. All right. Okay. Bite bulb. Uh, so there's bulbs, which are throwing weapons. All right. Don't see anything else. Oh, there's a mind flayer oh, over like here that's me. dead. So I'll go and have a look at him. Um, which way? Oh, this way. Oh, I see where you're looking. Anything? 
potion of healing and a void bulb. So we can go further in towards the right. Or we can go up to the left. The only thing is, where is our map saying? So our map doesn't tell us anything on where we need to go, so... I reckon going through is is fun. Like, we're doing fairly well. Fifth edition isn't like second edition, where, like, combat is, like, very, um, what's Mahoozy, very dangerous to go into unprepared. Like... Hang on, where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, just, sorry, went, what? So there's a skull, and then there's a spiked bulb. Yeah. All right, so we're at a crossroads. Um, there's a little portal thing here at the north. Uh, there's someone to the left, or to the west, and then northwest is. You said there was a portal. No, oh, that looks to be an arena of some sort. All right, well, we might leave the northwest alone then. And then, ah, oh, I see the portal to north. Well, do we want to talk to the? Because I saw, like, yeah. a person or something like that over here. Like, do you see him? Oh, yeah, they look like a rogue. Yeah. Hey! I need some help! Oh. He piped up. Once we got closer. Do you want to talk to him? Because... Uh, yeah, I'll talk to him. Alrighty, then. Alright. Hurry! I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Um, kill it yourself. You look capable enough. Like, look at this dude trying to tell us what to do. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Oh, he's a vampire. Oh, come on. Um, Dex is probably my best one. Yeah, Dex is your best one. Oh, oh okay. yes. I was a little worried on that. That that's a messy twenty. That's still good. There we go. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. Oh. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to uh, me? I didn't see him in the ship. Did you? No. Um. Uh, talk. I can. Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of... It looks like you're doing this on purpose, like you're Charles Xavier. You're just like... Err. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. There are no chemicals in the water. You are just gay. The friggin' frog's gay. <laughs> you're just gay. Uh, it's the Mind Flayer worm. It connected us. Uh, of course. That explains things somewhat. Mm -hmm. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Um, apology accepted. I might have done the same thing. Yeah. Uh, a kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. God, he, he sounds like he's from the upper class. <laughs> uh, Baldarian, those who reside within Baldur's Gate know the city well, for better or worse. You are a no you, you are from like a noble background, aren't you? Is that yeah. so? <laughs> we clearly move in different circles. So... Do you know anything about these worms? Oh, that's well, I know you need a pill for them, and you probably should make sure to wipe your ass properly. I mean... <laughs> Different worm. Right. Uh, I'm gonna say yes, unfortunately. They'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Uh... Uh... You know, yeah. I was ready to go this alone. 
But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. He... All right. Is it me or does he like talk in such a tone like he's trying to flirt with us? It's both. He's a vampire. Okay. Oh, hey, the that must have been the party came out of. All right. Um. So wait. Party line. Your party is shown on your side of the screen. Portraits of characters. Okay. Oh, uh, we can level these guys up too. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I can level up Shadowheart then. So we might want to do that. So he's a rogue. Cunning hide. And she's a Dash. cleric. She gets a spell slot, channeling delivery, turn undead, invoke duplicity. All right, let me just have a look at my the dude here. All right. At the moment he's using a bow, but he does have a dagger. So I believe he would be better suited to let's see. If out of hand stealth. If you want, I could give him a short sword. He should be proficient with the short sword. Might not be a bad idea. I would probably either put him with a short sword or a rapier at some point. Chat has come so I think you can just drag it over to him. Okay, there we go. Short sword. The break. Oh, I can... Might as well give him both a short sword and the dagger. Yep. Oh, and a crossbow so he can do ranged stuff. Well, he's already got a bow. Oh, he's already got a bow? Okay. All right, I got to do my 30 squats for the break. Okay, do those 30 squats. So, yeah. Have you, were, are you able to see, like, in the bottom, like, the yellow bar when the advertisement is going off and the little thing yeah, in the top left? It's actually in the top. Yeah, there's, like, there's two things. There's a little indicator in the top left, which is, like, a countdown and however many advertisements. And then at the Hello. bottom. Uh. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm getting good at these. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21. Can I do it before the end? 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, Aww. 27, 28, 29, 30. I did it just before the ad was, was over. Uh, so the, you, each character actually has their own underwear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it does. Oh, it does. You're right. So each character has their own tidy whities I've got tasteful boots. Oh, because there's like... Because there's like your armor on the left. And then your default clothes on the right. Yeah. So yeah, because like the homely clothes and all this kind of stuff is what you're wearing at camp. Yeah. That's cool. And then I can wear a silver locket if I want. Okay, why? Okay, apparently I don't wear a shirt in camp. <laughs> uh, oh, wooden trunk locked. Oh, hang on. Let me let me uh, let me get a story in to have a look at it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you click on his portrait, you should be able to. So I'm controlling. Yeah, yeah. I, I... <gasps> Thieves tools. Oh, give those to him. Give those to him. Give them to our Astorian. Um, send to Astorian. I must keep going. All right, uh, lockpick. Don't slow down. Ooh. All right. Belladonna. Wait, is there a mini game for you doing the lockpicking? No, it's just a dice roll. Oh, okay. So it's classic D&D. <gasps> Hi there, Cosmic Wolf. Uh, leather Helm. So that's probably one best for him. Two daddies? Where? There's... I don't see him. Hi, Cosmic. How you doing? There's Code, the the Yoshi. Hi, Cosmic. And then there's me, Grand Zebes. Himbo. How you doing, pup? Pup? He's a wolf. Yeah. 
No, he's pup. He's a puff? No, pup. Oh, okay. Pup. I was so confused. I was like, he's a puff. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, pup. Pup. Puppy. I'm good, thank you. We're just doing some Dungeons and Dragons, Baldur's Gate play. Yes. It's like D&D 5th Edition, but we don't have to deal with a, um, a DM or scheduling conflicts. Although, to be frank, we probably are going to deal with get scheduling conflicts after this session anyway. Yeah. Well, I, at the moment, I only work three days a week at the moment, so... Mm. So. Uh, oh, there's a bird. Oh, there's a the scared hole. boar over here. Sorry. I'm gonna have. A, I'm gonna go talk to it. Alrighty. Wait, why are you? Are you sure Raise that's an actual pump. boar? Uh, yeah. All right. Why do I feel like it's a person pretending to be a boar? Yay for the wisdom! The grunts eyes you warily with its beady eyes. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Talk to the boar. The boar shuffles its trotters, unsure. Then it dashes away into the wilderness. Oh. Into the wilderness? It ran off the fucking cliff! No, 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 it ran that way. So it, like, ran or passed us, for all we know. Ashes of balsam. Huh. Okay, so we can make potions, everything like that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. But not go check out um. Cost How is the um arts and things? How is the fine? Uh, I was actually just watching them last night. They did an amazing drawing of uh, Zill. Um, it was absolutely fantastic. Very well done work. Who's Zill? Uh, Zill is a big giant wolf daddy. Oh. He loves, loves to om nom nom on some random yeah. people. <laughs> a mind flayer. And it's hurt. Oh. Bound to be there it is. Alrighty, I'm gonna right. talk to this thing. Yeah, I'll let you I'll let you go up to it. Yep. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel Compassion. Compassion. <laughs> the narrator's just like, compassion? What? Uh, I'm good, Cosmic. How you do? I'm good. Um, spent most of my day asleep, though, because I was up all move. night last night can't to readjust think. myself for night shift tomorrow. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it right. but then the feeling slips the creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere oh you don't have a lot of intelligence though so that's a dangerous role fuck it what's the worst that can happen a oh five. All right. you try to break through but its mind is impenetrable with a last surge of defiance, it slaps your efforts away. Oh, damn. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Uh, I'm not a fan of it. Hang on, let's see if we can... Can I start a community? Hang on. So now everyone's going to click on the thing in the the tab. Uh, but I'm not sure really how that's supposed to work. Because, like, before it used to give a number, but now it's not giving it at all. What? Why is it... Do I... I'm sure Hang it on. Hang on. Um, let me just... Uh, where's the thingy? Hide it for a second as I, I'm gonna enable back and then options. That's weird. All right. Well, I'm not a fan of like leaving things to die normally. 
Like, leaving things to die is for when you want them to do a change of heart, but I'm not interested in this person having a change of heart. Damn. Death is too good for it. All right, so we got a potion of healing and a void bulb. Uh, is there anything else around here? Not that I can see. Alrighty then. I'm just so committed to like just walking off ahead. You said there was a portal somewhere? I did, I saw it right there. Oh, goblins. Scimitar and healing. Uh, I got a hand axe there and a bone. Supply and a bow. Uh, how many potions of healing do you have? I've got five. I've got four. All right, so not a huge difference. What's going right, on? Maybe. Room? Looks unstable somehow. Ancient sigil circle. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, mm. as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Touch, touch it or leave it. Touch, touch it. Touch it. <laughs> All right. <gasps> oh, a hand. Anyone? Okay. Um, strength check. Yeah. Grab the hand and pull. Just slap the hand. Oh, can I add a bonus? Oh, uh, because um, the NPC with me can add a guidance cantrip to help me with my roll. And then if I double click, it skips through the whole rolling animation and such. It. Go on, keep pulling. And hopefully it's not just an arm. Awesome. Look at this swashbuckler. Probably a warlock. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. Usually better at this. Ooh. He's in a good part of um, Baldur's Gate if he's at Waterdeep. Yeah. That magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. What? Uh... I was. I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Couldn't have... S <laughs> couldn't have phased it more... Actually, is there... Phased it. No. Still won't let me do the thingy madiggy. Uh, no use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? Yes, we were it's a aware of this. Process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. <laughs> you don't have. I to like be Gale. By any chance, do you? A doctor, surgeon, uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. <laughs> you seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. No. Afraid not. Uh, can't say that You're I am. Certainly going to need a healer. Hi there, That's Blue. Welcome to the stream. How about? I'm playing. Co I'm playing um, Dungeons and Dragons with Code. Together. It's 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 game night with the boys. With the boys. Oh, the boys. I see you're traveling with plenty of company already. Perhaps I can join you later instead. I'll make my way to your camp and embark upon a succulent slow cook to be consumed upon your return. Oh, so the party limit is four. Four. Yeah. All right. Well, that's so fine. So you and I will each control one character. So yeah, because like we've got like you know. The cleric who can be a bit of a who's quite a tank and has like a little bit of the bonuses with the magic stuff. Then there's you for sorcery, which is actual magic. Rogue for you know sneak attack nonsense if we can plan ahead. And then there's just me, as like you know regular DPS. I don't see anything over here. Uh, a rogue's morsel. Hmm. It's a mushroom. 
salts. Looks like there's something over here. A church of some sort. Up the stairs? Yeah. Alrighty then, alright. A chapel. <gasps> Are you forklift certified bone? Sorry, not bone. Blue. Now I understand why there was like a quote unquote exam for them. I thought they were finally getting their driver's license. Oh, there's two people here. Are uh... You are you talking to them? No, you're not. No, I wasn't. I was just waiting for you. So there's a third person. Both of them are level two, interestingly enough. You'll die a bloody pauper unless you take a few risks. Oh, you're talking to them right now. You're both twice as tall as me, but I'm off the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we that Stop. that wizard cap is Throw doing so much for your charisma right now. It's just tipped in. I don't know what the hell's you are. I know, I look badass. Yeah. Um, persuasion, deception. Oh, I can actually see my persuasion and all that on the left. Oh, that's cool. So your charisma and so your charisma is plus three with a plus two in perception. Um, your charisma and deception, same sort of thing. Intimidation, you just plus three. I reckon you could go with a, um, persuasion. Yeah. All right, let's see how you do. How you do. Oh, close oh, one. Thanks to those bonuses. Nice. Well, uh... In that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets <laughs> the cheese and all. But um, no, that's not how the mouse gets the cheese. No. Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. I want some cheese. Uh, you're not the second mouse, though. Aww. More cunning than you look. Oh. We had a fight on our hands. Oh, oh, there's a little chest and a wooden crate up here. There was four of them then. That's that's lucky. I'm gonna have a look at the wooden crate up here. There's a wooden crate down there as well. Uh, wait, where did you say the- a pig's head and some cheese. Oh. Be sure to collect food and drink. You will need them to restore your health and resources when uh, taking a long rest. Uh, burlap sack. Potato and garlic. Nice. Looks like there's a door here. And more thieves tools. Um, much to send that stone crashing downwards. Yeah, but we need. Hang on. So. Uh, actually, I wonder if I could hit it with a fireball. Oh, actually, yeah, that's right. I could. Oh, I was. I was going to use my crossbow. All right. Yeah. Um. I think that would have been if we wanted to sneak attack them. Oh, oh we can just jump down. Oh. Oops. Um. That's a lot of. All right. Um. Choke points work you're... both ways. I say. So I'm gonna move to the side a little bit. Estrin's with us uh, and. Uh... Time for some bloody work. And then... There we go. And then I'm going to move off to the side. End my turn there. Yep. Oh, there's an oil barrel right there. I could probably fling a fireball at it if I'm in the right position. Alright, um, probably from there, maybe? Not enough movement. Uh, you're not close enough? Oh, don't get too close. It, it did that automatically. I was trying to launch a fireball. Oh. Ignition. It worked. All right, you're still alive. Uh, wait, how many? Oh, you're not, do you're not looking too hot. Um. There we go, and then firebolt. There we go. 
I mean, it totally worked how I wanted it to. Yeah, I would recommend moving away from the door as well, because we can make it a choke point. I, I don't have enough movement. Oh, uh, yeah. No, we got to uh, deal. A barbarian. Berber. Dave. B -b barbarian. There we go. Oh, I used up my... Because we attacked at the same time. Um, unless... Alright, that area is still on fire, so I might move him back here for a little bit. Not enough movement. Um... Um, let's see, gives an extra plus two and doubles your movement when the thingy madiggy ends. Okay, so I can use this instead. Um, all right. So we only have this other person to deal with. Here we go again. Here we go. <laughs> nice. Lucky. Uh, and now I'm, <laughs> now I'm lethargic. So Ooh. leather boots and leather gloves. I might give them to him. Uh, drow poison. And alchemist's fire. <laughs> give me a second. Leather gloves. Leather boots. It only looks like the shirts are the ones that... Um, give armor proficiency as well as helmets at the moment. Ooh, scroll of burning hands. You can never have too many scrolls. Journey through the jungle. And oh, we can leather armor. Nice. Should mind my stab. Basic poison, a dagger. Hang on, I'm just checking some of these corpses here. Hmm. Yeah, and I got a telegram notification for some reason. <laughs> Who from? Uh, Zevin. They gave me like a silly doodle because I was um, I donated to their um, to their coffee for top surgery. Oh, that's cute. And then Avalon decides to. You know what? I think we need some light in here. Let me just... Do not cast Fireball. Do I look that stupid? Chat, uh, let me just zoom in for a quick minute and you tell me. Chat, remember how much you guys want to survive. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, dense rows of scrolling text. The few legible entries seem to detail the names and final words of numerous individuals. You're blocking the light. Oh, I was just going to use a torch. Why? When I can do light. Wait, where is my torch? Hang on. Oh, there it is. Torch. <laughs> I can just sit on this. Look at me, just sitting on this bench. I'll sit next to you. Yeah, yay! Oh my god! Like ever, ever since you've worn that hat, you're just like exhuming like this level of like Western RPG coolness. I mean, yeah, wizard's hat. Wizard's hat. Yeah, good for you. All right. Um, okay, let me see if I can get him to pick this door. Oh. Uh, what about this lever right here? I right, give that a try. That seems to have uh, done something. I see a person over on the right. Ah, you are right. There is a person over on the right. I was right. Yep. All right, I'm going to move over here and see if I can do a ranged attack. I can. Nice. All right. What's your what's your strat? You got a you got a strat? Let's see. Bonus actions, flourish. He doesn't look that difficult. Uh, 
and Dawn. Ah, pooey spot. Oh, there's probably the light doesn't help. Company. Oh, oh, it uses offhand to do that. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, so I am going to need to move to here. All right, Firebolt is a can trip. And then this is a bonus healing. All right, so. There we go. And then, and turn. All right. Wizard time! It's wizard time! Oh, I just used my torch instead of like a staff. Uh, let me get um, a Torian to check that trunk. Okay, uh, just in case it was locked. There's only just like loot in there that we can sell. Okay, fair enough. Um, oh, Water Havian cheese wheel. Cheese! And a cheese no wheel. Press. Only silence Ancient, the indecipherable text covers the plaque. What do you think are the chances of combining a cheese wedge and a cheese wheel is going to do something other than just make a cheese wheel? I don't know. Give it a try. No, well, I, I don't know if we can do it right now. Uh, what's that most of this is just sellables. Yeah. Um, I got a bandit key while we were like... Might open something else in here. All right. Um, door over here. These boots have seen everything. Yep. Give me a sec. Give me. Actually, is there a way for me to heal? Um. Okay. Across the multiple thingies. Yep. Here we go. Uh. Oh. oh, it just took us to the chapel entrance where we were before. So if we. Ah, so we would have had to have had a fight anyway. Yeah, but this time we had like an attack of opportunity. Of area. There was more of that area we didn't uh, go through too. Oh, well, do we want to drop down again? Or just go through the door. Uh, that sounds boring. I wanna, I'm want i going to drop down through the hole again. This is a small part just over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's a door here. Hang on. No lock. No handle. How does it open? Hmm. These Ma tools. Let me see. No, lock picking is impossible. It must be open via a lever somewhere else, probably like deeper in here. So. Maybe. Let's have a look. All right. Um, Nothing in the books. The unclaimed. Oh, it's just a reading convenience book. There's a looter's trunk over in the back. There's a chest here. Gold. I'm going to have a look at the looter's trunk. That might be worth a look. Oh. Um, Grobian Tibble in Ilmata drowning. You do not recognize the language on the plaque. Oh, there's a lever here. All right. You want me to pull it? You pull it. I wonder what that did. Probably something dangerous because it had a skull on it. Oh, door over here opened. Oh, yep. Good eye. Looks like another door that leads us further in. All right, let's go in. This is fun. It is. Oh. Already in use. What? Oh, okay. It's probably because we both tried to do something, and so it, like, had a fun moment. A dark crypt. What? Oh, there's a chest here. I'm going to have a look at this. The opulent chest. All right, I'm going to look at this one. Uh, two scrolls of protection from evil and good. Nice. This place wasn't built for the living. There's a torch on the floor. There's a heavy oak door on the right. Oh, there's a gilded chest across the room. On death and resurrection. Oh, it's just... All right. 
Uh, three scrolls of protection from evil and good. Okay, that's... That was the same thing you got, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Which isn't a coincidence. All right. So there's the heavy oak door here. I'm just gonna light these candelabras. Locked. All Let's right. see if... Lockpick. that do anything? Oh, just this, roll on the dice. This one, um... Well, I picked this one too, so... Oh, um... Alright. Well, let me go over to yours first, just to be on the safe side. Yours first. Alright. Since yours is open, I didn't open that one. Yeah, no, this one was me, like, just walking over to it. Uh, I just... Just avoid that trap. Thank uh, goodness. We, because you and I, we failed our perception check, but Shadow Hearts, she succeeded. And there's a trap, like, right there. <laughs> just walk around it. Uh, Hang on. Whoa, 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 I had another perception check. Yeah, I had. Best avoid that trap. Okay, so there's traps on Chat the sarcophagus. Together and there's a button right there. Squats during the break. All right, um, ad break. Got to do my squats. Okay, I'll hold still. Oh my god, another 30? Oh. You know it's all bone. Yeah. Maybe I could... I could do like a... a like as a per user limit, so then that way bone can only push for like... Like, um, 50 or... The, for five of them or something like that. One. Yeah. Two. Three. But I haven't done that on the four previous... Squat um, redeems. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, and then set. Uh, yeah, that math is correct. 60 squats in like the first hour, 30 for the last half hour. Once, twice, that makes 120. That makes sense. Mm. All right, so there's a button I see right there. Uh, why am I failing? Trap. Be cautious. <laughs> oh, okay, so that little gargoyle ahead is a trap. Yep. Um, silver necklace, ring mail armor, uh, heavy armor, so disadvantage on stealth checks, so. Not something you'd want to wear. Probably something for Shadowheart, however. Yeah, because I think Shadowheart... We'll double check her. Hey, look! A bone! Okay, so that's a trap over there. Step carefully. <laughs> I love how right, we're... There, there is a button right here I'm tempted to push. Which button? Right here. Uh, okay. I don't All think right. I'm in immediate danger. Let, let, let's let's make a quick save to be on the safe side. F5 it. Over in the dank crypt. All right, ready? Ready. That did something. You need a disarm trap toolkit. Yeah. Step carefully. There's a trap. Lots and lots of traps. Hang on, let me get um, him to pick the door. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Ooh, a soul coin. Uh, failed. Uh, Shadowheart will get the long sword and the 
shield. Okay, there we go. She's a cleric though, so I think a I think a mace is a better weapon for her. Strange coin. I wonder what it's worth. Ooh, a point of inspiration. Nice. Nice, I got one too. Cool. Alright, oh, um I clicked on the door. Oh, it's at the back end. What? It exits at the back end of the cathedral, that door that I just lockpicked. Oh, okay. So let's go to the other... Uh... Well, what does the plaque say? Hang on. The text on the plaque, the text on the plaque is a mystery to you. Hey, let me have a look with my guy. The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. Okay, um... The text on the plaque... There was, there was like, no, um skill check or anything like that when clicking on it, so... No. I think it's just that. It's a mystery. Careful, careful. Don't run too far ahead. Um... Alright, now let's go in slowly. Alrighty then. Alright, I'm gonna stop just about here. Alright, there's a... Entombed Scribe. There's one on the right, and one dead ahead. There's a few of these scribes that are entombed. Right. I'm gonna have a look at the one here straight ahead of us. All right, I'm gonna. Armed scribes, but no sign of a struggle. Burning hand scroll. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. There's another one over here. There's another one over here. Oh, a heavy key. Examine. That's Jurgel, Scribe of the Dead. I didn't think anyone still worshipped him. Scribe of the Dead. Oh, I got a ruby ring. Nice. Does nothing though, so... Uh, there's a warrior here with a scimitar. Uh, looks like there's, there's like a behind. A oh, did you open the chest? Uh, which one? Uh, the one that's here. Yeah, yeah, I opened it. The gilded chest. Oh, okay. All right. So it looks like what's behind here. You ready? There's a button. Something over there. Um. Grant, what did you do? I just pressed the button! Hells, something just woke up down here. Okay, um, all right, so treasure after Let we... The yeah. Darkness can be but we need to get out from this, like, narrow, um, what's my hoosies. So... Yeah, hang on, I'm gonna pop him into stealth. I'm gonna pop my guy into dash just so I can get him up here. Careful, you've got a torch. It's bright light. Oh, I don't have enough action. Darn. Because with you having a torch... Well, I swapped over... Uh, I swapped yeah, I know, over to the crossbow now. I know, I know, but before... Mm -hmm. Would have made my guy visible. In fact, I wonder if there's a way for me to turn off light. Apparently, at the moment, my weapon's enchanted with it. Oh. I missed! Oh, how strong. Because if you hover over them and you press T, you can examine them. Uh, bludgeoned, bludgeoned damage against this entity is doubled and doesn't deal with poison. Is that the same for the entombed thingy? Yep. Yep, same thing. Awesome. Okay. All these skeletons. Um. Oh, I can't equip it while I'm in the middle of holding a torch. All right, so what's the scribe going to do? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Nope, 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 his turn ended, so it's your turn now. All right, um, let me get in front of you, just so then that way I'll give you a little bit, and then... I mean, of course I'm going to use Fireball, Neko. It's my go-to. 
Gonna use Shield of Faith. Thank you. Cookie for the bestest boy. Because when in doubt, use Fireball. And remember, there's no iron team, but there are many eyes in fuck it. I don't care how big this room is, I'm casting Fireball. fireball. Well, it's a good thing you got Fireball. They're throwing like frost spells at us. Oh, where's this guy going? Oh, he found the Storian. Yeah, that's weird. Oh. Oh, crap, they silenced me. All right, um, I say we deal with this warrior first. So I'm gonna do a melee, because then I can use... Ow. Thank you for the 69 bits, bestest boy. Oh, I missed. They make it, they're making a strong. They're, they're um, quite dangerous. How are you doing? You can't cast spells, so. No, I can't. Oh, well, I can do my uh, basic spell and true strike. All right. Oh, I can't cast it on myself. Oh, Put it on her. Neat. Oh, that was a critical. All right. Um, that hurt. So I'd get I, think I might need to move away on my turn. Yeah, give me a sec. I'm thinking. She doesn't have a ranged weapon. Um. Have to keep going. All right. Is she out of the? No, I think still partly inside. Darn it. Mm. I can throw an item. I'm going to throw this. I'm going to throw this scimitar. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Right, throw it, bitch. Oh, it did two hits. It did two. We just got a lot of scribes to deal with. Yeah. Ow. How are you going to handle this? Oh yeah, I took his um I took his sword when I um tried to Okay, so not enough movement affected by ray of frost. Right, I'm gonna need to move myself out of this bubble. Oh, they're immune to bleeding. That's right. Um, uh, fireball! Really? Yeah. It missed. All right. Can I dip? No. All right. What do you do? Oh, it just—it's chasing after you. They don't like me. Oh, but it's in range of me. Um, all right. Do I have a turn undead? Oh, what's this? Uh, possibly daze your target. They can't take reactions and are easier to hit for two turns using a con save. Hang on. Where's my... As a cleric. Blessing of the Not all clerics are going to have turn undead straight off the bat. Oh, well, mine did, but right now it's silence, so... I just need to check if it's a bone. Oh, no, it's an action. All right. All right, so five meters. I'm no longer silenced. Um, there we go. Oh, it saved the... God damn it. I would have just nailed it across the head. Yeah, I probably should have. And I got silenced again. <laughs> oh, what's up with my back? Mm. Well, at least it missed. Hmm. Hope your soul is in good hands. Okay, one down. Nice. Um. Best be on my way. 
All right. Um, I'm at a massive disadvantage here, so I'm going to dash. Not damn. Not hide. Ah, oh, crap. I already used up my turn on that one because I hit the wrong button. Ugh. Sorry about that. Ah, no. My bad. So... All right. Climbing up things uses half your movement of that distance. Hey, ah. they were an idiot. All right. Um, I do not have enough movement. Uh, grant another on stealth checks. I'm going to I'm going to use the healing on myself because I kind of need yeah. to. And then. Oh, my God. God, this annoys me how I'm like, I'm basically just stuck in this fucking zone. I'm gonna. Oh, I don't like that silent zone. It's a bit of a big zone. And they're on a. They're beating for you. Let's see where this person's going. That's just because I'm blue. I'm blue, da boo dee da boo da. Alright, um. Double your movement speed, jump and. Jump no longer uses, uh, and it takes a key point. All right, I'm going to use the key point to double my movement so I can run over. Let's get this over. And hit them. Yep. There we go. And then... Oh, the little thing's gone now. Oh, yeah, because I knocked out the person that was responsible for that one, I believe. To me. Okay, path is interrupted. Hard, Don't think I'd be able to fling the fireball from here. He wants to surrender their valuables, even after death. Your replenishable resources are dwindling. Take a long rest. We can do a short rest. We definitely need to probably make camp at some point. Let me pick up the scimitar. And let's yeah, check I'm these I'm going to have a look at what's in the back room. Yeah, I want to do that as well. Got to... Pick up all this guy's fucking shit. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look at this sarcophagus. First, I'm gonna get you out of hiding, by the way. Alright. Um, don't forget to drink something. Oh, I went in with him. That opened way too easily. Oh, it's this guy. Who? Uh, is he a problem? Nope. He actually can revive our dead fallen. Uh, that's a lot to go on when he's just, you know, being dead. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. The fuck are you? What a curious way to awaken. Withers. Now... I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Well, that's a trick question, because it depends on the mortal. Mm. Uh, what's the, what's the reason for it? Curiosity. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes. So I ask again, what is Hello. the worth of a single mortal? Life? But yeah, it depends on the mortal, Avalon, okay? Like, I'm gonna be real with you. Like, a child's life is probably worth, like, quite a lot more than an old person's life. Mm -hmm. life. And then there's a question of, like, what is their placement in, in society? Like, uh, unless you want to deal with, like, oh, in the perception of, like, the cosmic of the universe, then every life is of equal value by that point, by that perception. In which case, then it's, like, you know, very little. All right, chat, what do you guys all think? It's, actually, let's see. Can I start a poll? Why doesn't this thing want to do its thing? Hang on. Why does... <sighs> One, two, three, like... Button, please, do your thing. Extensions, hang on. Um, my extensions, give me a second. I'm going to see what happens when I deactivate and activate. Oh, there we go. 
Okay, skip on that one. Oh, okay, so it didn't... Try it again. Activate, then deactivate it again. It's only giving options one and two. Start... Yeah. Uh, dialogue bug. Hang on a second. Um... <laughs> Uh, after hotfix 31. Nope. How to fix common bugs. Reroll the D8. None of these are helpful. Mm. I think I'm going to go with two anyway. That depends on a person's deeds, yeah. I am sure thou believest as such. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. How long has it been? Okay. The Amulet of Lost Voices gives you a level 3 Speak with Dead Necromancy spell. Hmm. I've got a soul coin, too. Yeah. Well, that was one of the things I picked up. What's next? Um, all right. You are going to drink this. Maybe we can keep it for using it with him later on. Yeah. Sounds good. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Uh, <laughs> and through. Damn, I wish I didn't live in such interesting times. Me too, NPC. Me too. I wish I didn't live in such interesting times. Like, I just want, I don't know, fucking, uh, what's the mahoozies? Um, I want space adventures, not crippling, um, economic crises number three. Okay, it looks like there's a cave over here which we can check out. Yeah. It's like one way... Okay, looks like we can't go any further into the... Oh, can we? No, we can't go any further into the water. Oh, uh, yeah, no, we can't. Oh, we can't. Oh, there's a ladder over here, though. Nice. I went into it. And oh, then we're there's at the that. back of the, the chapel. Okay. <clears throat> and we can climb up this thing. The vines. <sighs> Damn, my dwarf climbs. That might be worth a look. Oh. Pack too tight. Do you have a shovel? No. Okay. Oh, I should probably give um, the thieves tools to um, Asterion. Yeah. And change to the quarterstaff. All right, looks like we're out here. Since it's almost time for you probably to... Because it's almost three hours. Do we want to do a camp rest? Um... Yeah, we probably do. Um... Do we just, like, set up camp wherever? No, no, so we go camp and resting menu, and then we've got long rest. Where do you see that? Or we got go to camp, so on the right. Oh, camp and rest menu. Let's go to, go to camp. I think that's where we go. All right. At the camp, you can take a long rest and fully heal your party. You can also manage party members, advance relationships with your companions, store items, and eventually change your character and recruit more followers. Oh, look, it's Withers. Huh? Where? Oh, there he is. I'm going to talk to him. All right. Ah, another... Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Interesting. Okay. Uh, not to be rude, but what are you? There are many answers to that question. None are important. Skeletons aren't supposed to be able to talk. If you won't answer, I will... Correct. Yeah. <laughs> 
Are you going to explain uh, further? Are you going to explain further? <sighs> yeah, what kind of services can a skeleton offer? The mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. So essentially, he will bring our dead back to life. You mentioned a cost. What a is it? A matter of coin. Interesting. 200. Uh, oh, he can change my class. Oh, that's cool. That's probably another reason for why well, they have him, but I'm kind of done with him. All right. Um... Invasion plan ends for the Sword Coast. Weird that I would have such a thing. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty decent camp. We got what? Oh, there's a chest here too. We got traveler's chest. And we got a storage for silver ingots and um. Oh, oh. Oh, where? So you know the uh, the Twitcher. Oh. Okay, so apparently I've got the Mask of the Shapeshifter. Oh, nice! You've been watching my stream! Wait, the Bewildering Adventurer's backpack? Open. Oh, it's got food and everything inside of it. Nice. Mixed coffee, fucking yes, queen. Clip. Uh, a clothing chest. Let's open. Oh! Red Prince's, uh, Cape of the Red Prince. Okay, so these are the weapons from, uh, from Divinity Original Sin 2. Wait, what are? So the Mask of the Shapeshifter. Um, the particular clothing chest. Did I get the... Oh! You and I must have gotten the, uh, the Lux Edition for free since we pre-ordered the game. Ah, okay. Also, check it out. Check what I got. Ew. What do you mean, ooh? That's cool! It's purple. I am dripped out right now. Look at this. Oh. Look at look at this. Aren't I like absolutely dripping? I like that's called periwinkle undergarment. I'm absolutely Catapult. dripping, aren't I? No, no. No. Combine this die with an equipment item to alter color of fabrics, leather, and even metal. Ah, oh, cool! So we can dye our stuff. Nice. I don't know if we Is should just be, like, throw, picking up skin? everything. No, no, I left some of that stuff in the chest just because... All right. Wooden crate over here. Well, I'm going to at least, like, do a new save before I put everything back in there, just in case the, um, mm. the instance isn't... Yeah. I can't save, only you can save. Yeah. Well, that's because oh, you're in, people. like, my session, is the idea. Nothing, so we can talk to Gale over here. Looks like there's a small campsite area near him. Um... Oh, end of the oh, okay. So end of the day, we can end it here near this campfire to do a long rest. Nice. Wooden trunk. Wooden kathunkathunk. -thunk. Looks like there's more like to this area as well. Like there's. I'm guessing more companions we get, the more that they'll spread out through this area. That's cool. That's like um, Dragon Age, like the like Dragon Age Origins when you made camp. Yeah, that's cool. So if we end the day, you have enough camp supplies to hit uh, and long rest. Sure. Yes. Oh, there's a chat thing here with Gale. Oh. Do you want to do you want to talk to him? Yes, please. Looks like he's deep in thought. Go to hell. Um, and a good evening to yeah. you too. You're a good sport. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. Okay. Um, 
We can either watch the flames. Sound a tad what more con- dejected than when we first met. Merely contemplating. Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. Hmm. It's not wrong. That's not abstract. Um. <laughs> Brooding will get us nowhere. Action will. Yeah. I want to say, I like, you know, what they're saying. What can they say? But they're right. Because they honestly are. Like, because for mm. a long, like, imagine if, like, all of a sudden we were able to, like, see the, um, the, the depictions of like angels and demons and it was like this weird like amalgamation of like the like the the biblical depiction of angels and the modernist artist view and, and demons were like this mixture mixture of that of those two things on a different like sort of sense and what have you yeah so point well made I see no, I thought- I'll wake you bright and early we'll need to find a healer before the wee one gets hungry <laughs> yeah, I don't really want the wee one to get hungry. No. Hang on, before we do anything, let's have a look. Oh, uh, the cleric over here wants to have a chat, so I'll chat with her. All right. Lol, it's funny, you don't have a shirt on. Of course. I mean, got to show off Whatever these uh, is, good looks. Save it for now. Can... Ah, only you can talk to her. Oh. What were you two talking about? Uh. What do you mean? What do you mean? You and Gail. Um. No. Nope. Just discussing the next steps. I mean, that's pretty much what we were doing. It's tempting to be yeah, uh, uh, like a smart ass, but yeah, I think I I think it's better. I see. I'd be careful with Gail. Uh. You like to stir thick. Cause that's the thing. Like she's just been like, oh, like she doesn't trust the gift. She mm. doesn't trust us. She doesn't trust Gail. It's like I was merely making an observation. No. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. This is someone who's had baggage and is putting it on us. That is not why, like, we let people in. Um. Uh, Caution is a luxury we don't have. Hey, look at that. Asterion approves. <laughs> Yay! He ha- he was nowhere in the conversation, but he approves. Nice. Doesn't look like anybody else wants to have a chat with us. No. Nah. So, looks like we can go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. I'm in my nice little purple jammies. Your purple gym jams. Oh, and we can like... Alright, so we need to hit 40. And we can do that with some Frittas. Oh, okay, so we gotta combine those three. Um, let's Just see. Just do auto select. Uh, let's see. Coffee, Frittas, cheese wheel, a pig's head. Yep, okay, looks like it. Yeah, it's grabbing all kinds of um, stuff. Hi there, Duncan Dice. I am a dwarf monk. I I chose my class because of what the what the dice told me. Mhm. And code is a uh, dragonborn. I am a dragonborn sorcerer because fireball. Look at look at this man. I I found that wizard hat and look at this look at this drippy fucking dragonborn. Like, just forever, like, it's, it's not like fedora, like, you know, neckbeard milady. It's like, it's like the classy fedora from, like, Detective Noir. Like, look at this. Damn right, I have that drip, bitch. Look at that. Look. Mr. Fucking wears his goddamn purple jammies. Look at, hey, the jammies are cool. I'm going through so much effort and doing, like, the nice slow turn for chat to enjoy. And here is, and this is what, oh. Do that again. 
This is what code. This is this is what my drip is against is just code being shirtless. Yeah, I mean, come on. Shirtless showing off them peckers. I mean, I could do one better. I could do one better. No, I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> you have these gold thingy matiggies. What's with that? <laughs> What's with the gold? You know you want this bulge, what, bulge. What, it, bulge. What, is, what, is, what is with this What is with this gold stuff on your thighs and um, the, the whale tail? I don't know. It's just the way it was designed. Did you pick that design? No. I don't believe you. No, it's race based. Ah, OK. Yeah. So, yeah, so there's Gale. Um, level two and then. Dun, dun, dun. Um, um, wait, is there a way for me? Well, first in magic, are you? No. I'm not. Why do you ask? No matter to worry the unlettered over. If you meet any oh, elder you're wizards, talking to Gale. let me yeah. know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. All right, so he's got a side. How do you, like, change the composition, then? At the party? Yeah, because they were talking about, like, that was a thing. Um. Because if I go to, like, party view, then that gives me this. Um... If I write maybe hang on, let me click on let me click on historian. Um quickly. Yep, alright. So we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal. <laughs> Hardly a promising all right. introduction. Uh I think he, uh, okay, so you gotta talk to them and say, I think it's better for you to stay here and camp for a while. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Is there a way for me to get out of this? Yes, there is. Okay, cool. Because I want to bring Gale with me. So for like when we when we pick up up on the next game, I want to have Gale with me. So then that way, like there's a magic get blood from a stone. That way I have like a magic person behind me, like for range while I go up close. Gale seems interesting. Um. Uh, sh we should journey separately from Not now. Sure. I'm sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. All right, cool. Damn, girl! And now I've picked up a mysterious artifact for whatever reason. Oh, that must be Go her ahead. little object I'm thing. Listening. Yep. Um, join me, why don't you? There's plenty of adventure to be had. Pleasure. Lead on. Nice. Ah, okay. So I've just noticed something. I've just noticed something. Also, you might want to level Gale up. All right, what did you notice? So watch this. When I click on Astorian, if you look in, oh, hang on. I'll wait for you to. Yep. Uh, gain two spells. Um... So what sort of mage is he? It looks like he's a. Okay, he's a wizard. Sorry. So he's evocation based. So. Uh, so magic missiles always a go-to, I think. Yep. Um. Shield's not bad, given that it raises AC, and for a wizard, that's probably not a bad thing to have. Um, I find that for wizards and for you know sorcerers, having a few defensive spells is always a good idea. Find familiar is not a bad one either. I was going to go with find can... familiar, so then that way there was like yeah. more peeps. There we go. Oh, see, even uh, Avalon agrees with me. Nice. Oh, I can join the dialogue from there. What can I do for you? Yeah, see, that's what I was looking at. Ah. As long as I don't click on something, you'll join from that last sentence point. Nice. Oh, what's to tell? <clears throat> I'm a magistrate back in the city. Oh, magistrate. I am part of the ruling class. Look at me with my luscious locks and my attitude that you should do the work for me. Mm. Oh, you know when we find Minx, I'm gonna have Min uh, Minsk. You know I'm gonna have Minsk in this party. Nah, fair enough. Like I want to have him in the party too. I think we're gonna like we're we're probably Minsk, gonna find Minsk, like Minsk, Minsk, Minsk. <laughs> we're probably gonna like find like classic thingy madiggies we want, and it's just gonna be a case of us like fighting over them. 
Yeah, did you just did you watch the uh, that um, thing I sent you about the backstory about what happened? Uh, yes. Yeah. So the reason why Minsk is alive is apparently he petrified himself with Boo, oh, really. so and made it so that when they were next needed, they w the someone could dispel them. So that was ha so Minx is you know alive in this era because of you know that kind of petrification yeah. thing, and then. Um, there was a half elf in the party, so she's just able to live a long time. And then someone was dimension hopping. No, um, a chromatic barrier of some sort was for Volo's reason. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the first time you played the game? No early access. Me and Code. We sort of, oh, did we did the first ship level in early access quickly just to get a handle on the uh, base controls as well as just the combat. Mm-hmm. We didn't want to delve too far in too quickly. Yeah, so we just wanted to get an understanding of like, oh, what's it like for us being in turn-based combat? Um, we we ran into the thingy of like, oh, we wanted to like, you know, how do we change party? Because there was a point where Code was managing like three different uh, or two party members and I wasn't managing anyone kind of thing. So it was like, oh, how does how do we fix this? Yes, and that's So we just wanted to have like 15, 30 minutes trying to figure out like, oh, what is... Uh, what is our um, thingy matiggy? And yeah, we I noticed that we didn't have an open air. I thought it was just because we took a different path, but I think they just shortened that because yeah. the early access was all about chapter one. And now that they've done the full release game, we're supposed to have more than like chapter one. We're supposed to have like the three chapters, is it? I don't know. Yeah. So, all right. So Withers with his little pouch. Shadowheart is there. Gale is there. All right. Um, do we? So, do we want to call it? Because I got to work tomorrow, unfortunately. Yeah, I think best to call it because I've got night shift tomorrow as well. So I'll probably stay up for a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty then. Um, hit the play button over here. Ah, not there. Yee! Not there. <laughs> oh, it's gonna start doing some commands. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Okay. So there's another thing too. I've noticed with session, like I can hand you. I've just handed you my party member. Oh. How did you do? Oh, did you just like click and drag him? No, no, no. In sessions, if you go sessions, we can, you can hand over party members. So if you hand him back over to me, I can then have him. That way it's either I'm controlling myself and then you're controlling three guys. So if you go, if you go like session in the, in the main menu, oh. you can then hand over. So you probably best to hand him back over to me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hang on. There we go. Apply. Oh, okay. That's probably how we were able to do it then as like a quickie. Mm, and you might want to put uh, Gale back with you as well. Yeah, I did. I thought no, I... I mean, connect him to you. Oh, why is he not connected to me? There we go. I think because when you, when you do it in sessions, I think it does that. Yeah. All right. I'll quit the game. So that way. Yep. Um, I'll save the game once more. Mm-hmm. Yep, code left the game. I can then quit. Uh, cross save sync is in progress. Quitting the game now will prevent your save from... Oh, okay, so I just need to wait for it to sync. Yep. Um... <laughs> need to wait for it to be put in the sync. <laughs> Didn't. Alrighty, um... It says sync... It's sinking for a while. Hmm. Yeah, apparently that might be broken at the moment because the servers. Oh, OK, that would do it. That's a. Sh oh, it's done now. Yeah, now I can quit normally. All right. And there we go. That I am. I'm excited for this and we'll definitely do you want to do this like as a regular thing, like once a week? Oh, yeah, for sure. We might even do longer play sessions for it if we get the chance, just because like three hours feels like not a lot of time for us to get through stuff. Yeah. Especially in a game like this. Yeah, no. And I feel like with a Friday night, if I'm not working the next day, I, I most certainly can risk going for like a slightly longer amount of time. I'm so most certainly we could probably go for like a four hour thingy midiggy or something or rather. Yeah. And he he is hoping that hopefully they fix up the issue with the um, with the extension. Yeah, because like it's a shame that none of no one was able to um, 
was really able to vote. do like a vote thingy madiggy because there was like one or two occasions where I was like, oh, I want to do a vote thingy madiggy. So, yeah, yeah. So and what's more is is like, you know, I feel like that would be something enjoyable for chat to do as well, because I was like, you know, yeah, it would be something fun for chat. Yeah. Alrighty. Now, um, before everyone disappears, however, we need to have a look at who we're going to go and raid. And I... Seems like there's a lot of people doing uh, Baldur's Gate at the moment. Well, I wanted to go for someone that wasn't doing Baldur's Gate. Because hey, I know a lot of people are do are um, are doing it, but I kind of want to... Uh, like, I want to go true, for someone true. like sli slightly different, so then that way there's a like something to like calm them down. And I was thinking... Maybe have you seen that doll Kofu? Uh no, I don't believe I have. They are an Australian streamer and hang on a sec, I can do a shout out while we're in the middle of um oh, Hello, how you doing there, Mark? Hi there, Mark. I am so sorry. We're about to we're about to go in, um, out into a raid shortly. So that doll Kofu is just this, um, b um, it, they're a, um, boyzoi dog, I think is how you describe them. Yeah. They do a lot oh, of, doing Dragon Age. yeah, they're doing Dragon Age Inquisition. So I'm very much curious on how they're going with that. They do 3D sculpting, they iron bowl. <laughs> but they got coal. They got my good boy coal. Yeah, coal is fine, but Iron Bull is the mwah, chef's kiss of daddy. Yeah, but Cole, he's our bestest boy. I mean, yeah, that's fine. But Brian said, "There's daddy. a lot of there's a lot of autistic coding in Cole." <laughs> there is, there is. All right, so I'm reckoning. What do you think is a good raid message? Go. Should it be something like go pa cast fireball? Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, cast fireball. Let's do it like exclamation point. Now, is there a, um, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I reckon six fireballs are, is like, that should be a good number. I reckon that's a good number for, um, what's the movie? Fireball. So, yeah. All right. Let's get the raid started. Um, once again, Ko, thank you so much for joining in on the stream. I, I miss the times we've played video games together and going into something like, um, like Baldur's Gate 3 is really great. Eight, it's similar to Titan Quest, but turn-based instead. I really enjoy your time. When will the people see you next? Uh, so hopefully next weekend, I'm going to probably put up a schedule on Sunday mm -hmm. once I know what's going on with the, this model that I'm supposed to be getting my hands on. Yep. Um, if it's not ready yet, I'll probably still use my PNG tuber for a little bit, but it'd probably be very minimum in the way of redeems. But I do want to do next week to start streaming. Not to worry. Fair enough. All right. Well, oh, that was Kodi Yoshi. Uh, we're going to go right into that dog Kofu and... I will say thank you, everyone who came along to tonight's stream. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, remember that tomorrow is the party game stream. If you don't yet have it installed, I highly recommend downloading Goose Goose Duck. That is going to be for tomorrow's night's game. Aim, I will be playing with some people, and it will be open for people in chat to join in as well. But otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Bye. Where it goose, is. goose quack. Goose, goose, quack. Remember the... Okay. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. They're in the desert right now. All right. Uh, ding. I'll add it to the Dong.